Uh, what? Um. Lie? Li oh, chat. Really? Because I'm not live on my end. What? What sorcery? Hold on. Let me refresh. Really? Oh my God! All right. The, ooh, all right. Good. another subversary good luck with the vid production yeah uh, apparently I don't know when I don't know if they said in the email when but um, it's uh, been years since we made partner on twitch so it's the the thing so yeah um. hey Joe don't you remember me but I just want to say sorry and hope you're well oh I remember you I remember you. I don't. I have no idea who you are. Sorry, but I I will accept your apology. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Hope you're well too. It's the dog poop lady. Uh oh. Don't forget me. Alright, so on the weekend, something spooky happened. I already said this in Jads, so it's repeated content for some of you, sorry. Something spooky happened, and I genuinely don't know how it happened. And I, I guess I must have been like really sleepy and I played a prank on my, on my future self or some sort of gas leak or something, I don't know. So here's what happened. Lily's computer is broken, right? I said this on stream a couple times, Lily's computer is broken. I have in the basement, uh, well, I had because I moved them up. Uh, two other computers that had um, leftover parts in them, like they, they both had motherboards, they both had CPU still in them. Um, only one of them had a graphics card because the other graphics card was taken out and used for a different computer, that sort of thing. Hard drives have been shuffled around, um, but there's like computers downstairs that uh, there, there were two that um, were mostly intact. So I, um, what I did was is that I went downstairs and I got the one of the computers. And I brought it upstairs, and I, I don't know if this can work, but I wanted to try it. I wasn't sure what the problem with Lily's computer was. I thought maybe it was the the power switch on the, the case itself was broken because the USB port and everything up there was kind of loose. And in fact, when I tried to do some uh, percussive maintenance on the side of the case, um, the USB bay that slots on, like on the top of your case, you know, where you hit the power button, um, that actually fell off when I when I did some percussive maintenance to it. Um, so I thought maybe there was a loose wire and that's why the computer wouldn't start. So the computer was fine, but maybe it was just, just the issue uh, was, was the power button. So what I did was I, I got another computer and I plugged in the power pins to the motherboard from the other computer by just putting the whole entire case and motherboard like up next, like they were both open, like I docked the, the computers together and I plugged the power pins in <laughs> to another power button um, and, and, hit, and hit the button um, and it didn't start. So I don't know if that would work, but I did that. So it didn't, it didn't work. So I'm like, okay. However, when I went downstairs to open the case, there was some stuff in the computer case and I opened it up and this one I kind of understand, okay? I kind of understand. There was a, a hard drive, a solid state hard drive on there, an 860 whatever Samsung that was broken that the, the plastic like L-shaped cover over it had been ripped off. There was and it was just sitting there in like just just nicely on top of the uh, the PSU and i don't remember that happening and there was a sock inside there was a sock inside 
the computer case, one of the kids' socks, and it was actually pretty clean. So I don't know how a sock got in there. Anyway, so I'm like, okay, I don't know, maybe I moved something in there, or the kids threw it in there when I was moving this computer down, whatever, okay, whatever. So that's 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 the okay one, all right? So then I went downstairs and I got the other computer to see if I could scavenge some parts. Uh, but by the way, end of the story is I fixed the computer, I transferred all the files over. Um, I, I the, the computer's back up and running. I crack open the other the the other case I have down there, which is the older one, which is actually the computer I built when I first started making videos. So uh, that became Lily's computer for a while. This computer survived a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure this computer had um, five crayons were put on top of the case, and the heat melted the crayons. And the top of the GPU in this computer is covered in melted crayon. I don't know how, and it and it runs. I don't know how it still runs, but that's that's what happened to this computer back in the day. Okay, so I am looking through this computer to see if there's any 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 parts in it or anything I could use to fix it. And I open the case, and it was screwed in really tight and nestled in there, like between the the plastic cover and the PSU at the bottom of the case was. our TV remote that went missing like three, four years ago. I don't understand. I don't understand. There's no way that one of the kids could have put it in there. There's no way that Lily, Lily could have put it in there. There's only one person that could have put it in there and it and it's me. And I don't remember putting my TV remote into the computer case and then closing up and then cackling maniacally going, Mahaha, that's gonna fuck him up later. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Moksha? <laughs> We, we have a, a long storied history of losing TV remotes because the kids like to hide them, but I don't think the kids can operate a screwdriver, unscrew it, put it in, and then screw it back in so tightly. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand how there was a TV remote in there. So we have three TV remotes now. My mom found her wedding ring in an unopened bag of flour one day. It had been missing for like a week. Occam's razor would just be sleepwalking, I guess, but that's very elaborate. Do you have a CO detector? Yes. I thought that too. Yeah. One time when I was a kid, I put a bean in my ear. Does, does your ear have a, a screwed in plastic cover that weighs a bit that's on a desk? Yes? Oh, okay. All right, well, th th that's fair then, that's fair. Okay, all right, is the music too loud or are we, go are we good? You do seem like the kind of person to prank your future self. That's true, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're good. All right, what are we doing today? Oh yeah, the announcement. Oh shit, okay, hold on, let me see. I don't know if this is gonna, this is gonna work. All right, so, all right. Let me, let me turn the music down. Let me, you know what, I'm gonna pause it. All right, so. So, uh, I'm here today to announce, I mean, everyone already knows what it is because it's in the title, uh, that we're gonna be playing Valhalla uh, on November 27th. So enjoy, enjoy Valhalla. All right, let's play Slay the Princess, is it good? We need to trace some rays. We need to trace some rays, right? Alright, so I would like to announce the first ever Chanual Joseph Anderson Direct Showcase End of Year Awards 2023 Jadzia nominations. Pronounce Jadzia because we'll see you there. Alright? So hold on. Let me uh, update the Nightbot and, and put it through. Uh, hopefully, this link works. All right, submit. Okay, did that work? All right, if you type in explanation mark 2023 awards, it should show with a message. And there you go, and that should be the form. I think that's the right link. If it's not, let me know and I will fix the link, okay? So we're gonna go through it. Hopefully it works. If I messed it up, I'm sorry. There are people helping me with this and if I do it wrong, then I will, I will be letting them all down. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go through the, the form and we can discuss what we're gonna do. Let's put the music back on. I'm a little nervous, sorry. As soon as I hit a uh, window capture on, uh, my, my heart rate spank, uh, spanked. <laughs> Spiked. <laughs> All right, so there are many categories. If you, uh, there's no rush to get your nominees in. So if you want to just hear me talk and explain some things before you put your nominees in, there's there's no like you know first person gets it done gets the treat or anything like that. So you can just you can just chill. It'll be okay. So here's what we're gonna do. So we are hosting an award ceremony uh, on the December 29th. So it's gonna be a stream. We're going to stream the winners. It's gonna be a show. We're gonna put on a show. We're gonna we're gonna do our best. Um, very out of my comfort zone. So I hope it goes well. But I th I think it'll be uh, up on time even if uh, there is some um, some uh, some jing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be hosting that on December 29th. Uh, so this is the round of nominations. Uh, in a couple weeks, we're going to be doing the voting. So we, this is the gathering of the nominations, what you want to nominate for each, ca nominate for each category. And then we're going to vote. And then um, the voting will be done anonymously. So we, you won't know who the winner is until we get to the award ceremony. And then we will go through the awards. Uh, there's going to be some giveaways. We're going to give away some games uh, during it too. Um, we and uh, we're gonna have some fun, so that's gonna be it. And if it's uh, it's if it's a good time and we have a good time, then we'll do it again next year, and um, we will we will iterate and see see how it goes. Okay, so that's what we're that's what we're going to. There's not no bamboozle with the voting. It's gonna be on 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 my life. It's going to be straight voting. Don't don't waste your nomination here thinking you can nominate like bomb chan to any category and then that votes and blows up. I, I swear this is not like the voting game okay it is just going to be straight voting that's it okay that's it all right it may be even gay voting as well but i don't know if we're that woke we just did play island wake 2 but i don't know it's just going to be straightforward voting okay that's it i promise okay <sighs> all right so let's go through it Welcome to the Joseph Anderson Direct Showcase End of Year Awards. Jadzia, pronounce Jadzia because we'll see you there. On December 29th, Joseph Anderson will be hosting the first streamed End of Year Awards. From today to November 18th, we will be accepting nominations for a number of categories. Categories are below, we'll scroll down. Um, the most nominated candidates for respective categories will enter a final round of voting from November 27th to December 11th. There will be a stream of the game Valhalla at the beginning of the voting round. Okay, so that's on the 27th, we're going to stream Valhalla. Um, and I believe that right before December 11th is the um, uh, Jeff Keighley's Big Game Awards. So we will be uh, streaming again near the end of this as another reminder to vote if, if, if people forget or they're not there for the Valhalla or whatever. Uh, so that's what we're, that's what we're going to be doing, okay? And then we have winners will be announced during the December 29th ceremony, okay? So the actual dead time of the day on that is not set yet, but it'll probably be around stream time, maybe a little later, okay? So here are the nominations, uh, the categories. So there are quite a lot of categories. I, do, I don't know if this is too many or not enough. Um, it's our first time doing this sort of thing, so we will we will tweak and see. Uh, in the event that a category does not get enough nominations, we will probably just not do that category. And conversely, there are I think two or three categories that we don't need nominations for. So there's they're not on this list. Okay, so that's that. So uh, a couple of them are a bit. Um, confusing to understand initially, but once you once it clicks with you, it'll be fine because there's there's like stream and then game. Okay, so let's let's go. So here we go. Creamiest stream series of 2023 nominee. So for the most entertaining streams to watch, independent of the game. So the game can be bad, it could be great, just as long as you gave. Uh, sorry, as long as it gave an excellent stream experience. Which stream was the cream of the crop 2023? So this is the best stream, cream of the crop 2023. Okay, even independent of the quality of the game okay also you can only nominate once per category and you don't have to nominate every category if you don't think you can think of something for some for one of them you can just skip it it's fine you don't need to um uh like completely fill out the, the form you know what i mean so that's that so what was the best stream of 2023 and then conversely this is the best game that we streamed in 2023 okay so for the absolute best game stream this year, even if the stream itself wasn't great. So even if I was bad, this, the game, that was the best game that we streamed. Whether the game released this year or many years ago, if it was released, uh, if it was, sorry, if it was streamed this year, then it could win this award. So it doesn't have to be something that was released this year either, okay? And then 
Game of the Year award. Straightforward. Best released game in 2023. For any game that released in 2023, Game of the Year for our community, we don't have to have streamed it, okay? So we haven't streamed Baldur's Gate 3, you can nominate Baldur's Gate 3, even though we didn't stream it, okay? So I understand this is a little confusing, but I think now we've gone through it, it's, it's okay, right? So it's like best stream, regardless of game, best game that we streamed, regardless of the year and the stream quality, and this is the best game even if we didn't stream it, okay, for 2023. All right, so this is the best indie game released in 2023. So it's the same as this one, except it's it's uh, the the indie category. Indie, in any indie game that was released in 2023, it doesn't need to have been streamed, indie game of the year for our community, okay? Best Twitch clip of 2023 nominee. This has to be, I think this is the only one here. This actually has to be a Twitch link clip. You have to put a, 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 a link here or else it won't let you enter it, okay? And I think that is the only one that is like that. So um, yeah, what, what was your favorite clip um, from this the stream this year? Best stream moment of 2023 nominee, but not a clip. For moments that expand beyond a singular clip, for example, reading reviews at the end of a game, or when the Carpenter Bee attacked, something that happened that was too big to clip. List uh, the approximate timestamp or stream, the moment it occurred if in if possible, please. So, a, a larger stream moment that you liked that um, that transcended a clip or happened multiple times or, or, or over uh, a while. Some sort of event. So, best... <laughs> Not all of these were picked by me, okay? Not all of these were picked by me, all right? Be best Joe sound of 2023. Nominee. Ever heard Joe make a memorable sound blah, blah, that lives rent-free in your mind? What's what what was the what was the best sound that I made in 2023? Best new stream meme of 2023 nominee. Link clip timestamp if possible. Nominate a recurring meme slash bit from Joe that gained prominence in 2023, so long as the meme bit gained, st gained steam in 2023 and was repeated frequently. So I think there's a little bit of a gray area here. If the stream meme bit originated like at the end of 2022 or was mentioned like once a long ass time ago, but then only was really used a lot in 2023, I think that's valid. So there's a little bit of a, of a, of a nuance there for, for, for that one, okay? Um, I wonder if we'll get enough for, enough for those. All right, so this one is also um, slightly confusing if you just glance at it and don't read this part here. So most requested non-voted list game to be streamed nominee. All right, so what is the number one game you want to be streamed that isn't already locked in? Okay, so any past games or currently docketed games in the future are ineligible, below are the docketed games. So this is a list of games that you cannot put here, okay? You cannot, these are like, don't copy this down, okay? This, you are not picking from this list, what's what's the one I want from here, no. You are adding a, a new game, what game would you like to be uh, see streamed? Um, cause these are already locked in. We're, we're already doing these, you know what I mean? So, so what's, what's something new? Uh, and yes, that includes Steins Gate, even if it's not a game, cause it's not a game. All right. So best stream glitch of 2023 nominee. 2023 proved that Joe can certainly find glitches and exploits in the game. So long as the glitch was on stream, it is eligible for this category. Unless there was an even bigger glitch. Uh, best character introduced in 2023 nominee. Favorite video game character from streams, e.g. Yusuke, Carlos, etc. But it has to be someone we first met in this year's stream cycle. Okay? Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, so best fan art of 2023 nominee. So long as it was shown on stream in 2023 is eligible. Where applicable, put the artist name and title of piece. All right, so uh, a little, maybe I should have written this down here, but um, a, a little note about this one, um, because I want to say this uh, very quickly after this. Um, the nominees will be uh, anonymous until they're locked in, okay? So a lot of people can nominate a fan art, okay? Once the the, the the votes come in for which ones, like as people nominate more, we'll see which ones are the, are the top ones that are going to go on to uh, to the, the to the voting phase. Um, before that is revealed, we will contact the fan artist and we will ask them, "Are you comfortable being part of this contest?" Okay. 
uh, because we don't want to put anyone's fan art into a competition without their consent and with like maybe they're not comfortable being in a competition maybe they don't want to be uh, a part of that like like put up against someone else or anything like that um so so if if you if some if a uh, one fan art is nominated and it is in the top like five or so then uh, we will contact the, the fan artist, and if they say no, then we will take that off the list, and we'll just go to the next one, and then we will we will ask them as well. Okay, so that is that is um, what we will be doing. So uh, I think that makes sense, right? So so there we go. Uh, that is the uh, the note for that one. So best new Chan of 2023, and same thing here for um, whoever made the Chan. We will contact the fan artist that made the Chan, and we will say, hey. Um, uh, are, are you okay with your Chan being a part of the contest? So this is Chan of the year Chan of the year. We love Chan's you love Chan's let's make Chan's together. Who was your favorite new Chan of 2023? Who is Chan of the year? Who is Chan of the year? Who among us is Chan of the year? Okay? So Chan Creator Chans, we will be in contact with you if your Chan is nominated, and if you do not want to be part of the contest, it's the same same rules as, as with Best Fan Art. Best of all time, Boat Chan nominee, the best Chan across all years to be inducted into the Hall of Chans. Starting this year, we are beginning a Hall of Chans. All the Chans from all the streamed years will be up for nominations to achieve a Tier 4 reset in Evolve Idol, aka Ascension. Who is the best of all time Chan? Who's going on the boat? Who is who is join, joining Noah's harem? <clears throat> That's a repeated joke for for, for four of you. Uh, the, <laughs> the Steins Gate Award for the Mustake Stream Game of 2023 nominee. The worst game we streamed, even if the streams were somehow entertaining. What is the worst game that we streamed this year? the worst game and then the before the storm award for worst stream of 2023 the worst singular stream or full playthrough stream series that was bad because of joe and or the stream and not necessarily because of the game's quality so this is the inverse of what we had at the beginning of the voting this is the wor this is the uh the worst game even if the stream was okay or good and this is the worst stream even if it wasn't the game's fault <laughs> Toxic category. We have we have a little fun with with toxicity. It's fine. All right. Best Joe Moncton anecdote of 2023 for any Joe stories about daily life. Pretty self-explanatory. What was the best anecdote? I don't think you need to link this one. If you just write down what it was, I think we we can get there. But if you have a link, that would be good. Best Lily cameo of 2023. Sometimes Lily brings me coffee from the Lily Cafe, and here she is now. Lily! Lily! Oh, God damn it! Anyway, uh, would have been a good clip. Anyway, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell her I was gonna do that. Best Lily cameo of 2023, so... Was... Sorry, I was oh, no, she... <laughs> Sorry. I had to stir it properly, you know? your coffee thank you what if this one wins now <laughs> uh anyway so best lily cameo 2020 2023 so basically what just happened there so what was the best uh, lily appearance on the stream Best Joe Gaming Skill Moment of 2023 nominee. Link uh, clip time step if possible, because otherwise no one will believe it. For moments when Joe shows his true Chiaki Nanami Ultimate Gamer Skill for game streamed. Joe editor's note. <laughs> Uh, I hope there are enough for five nominees for this one. All right, so if we if we don't get enough nominees for a category, then the category will be you know axed. Okay, so so yeah, so there's that. Best Joe Laughing Moment of 2023 nominee. He apologizes for laughing so much. I, I I know that some people enjoy my laugh. I know some people really don't enjoy my laugh, but yeah. So so there's that, and I think we're in the home stretch now. Most 
memorable Joe voice acting of 2023 nominee. Memorable. That's as generous as we could get. Who knew the world had such wonderful voice acting? Any moments that fully show Joe's voice acting capacity qualify for this category, okay? All right, so the Fido Award nominee. Best intro slash break segment. Fan art intros, or sometimes Joe will delay playing the game at the start of the stream, or come back from break and not play the game for half an hour to troll chat. What was what was the best one of those that we had? The best pure talking the chat interaction with Fido, looking looking down from heavenly clouds, smiling with that smile that she has. And best game OST of 2023 nominee, which game had the best music of 2023 lineup, doesn't have to be limited to games that we stream. So this is a, a, a very, again, broad category. The, all of gaming that came out in 2023, we don't have to have streamed it, okay? So prove your musical taste chat, okay? All right, best writing in a stream game of 2023 nominee. Now this one is, we have to have, have streamed it. So um, this one is limited to only games that we streamed in full. Which one had the best writing, whether that's for plot, characters, dialogue, it's a broad category, okay? So what was the best writing we saw on stream of a game that we finished on stream this year? Best chat banter of 2023 nominee. The best exchange between streamer and chat of the year. Sometimes the game gets paused. Sometimes we keep on trucking while riffing back and forth. Which was the best of times? When did we get the most unhinged pretty much? That's what it's gonna be. So that's, that's that one. And the last two are most anticipated anime marble. Now this time, this is the list you're drawing from, okay? Select one anime from below that you would be the most excited to have Joe watch. So of the anime marbles that we have, what is number one? What is, what is the number one? Because I don't know, all right? So this time you are going through this list and picking which one, okay? I know it's a little different from the last one, yeah. Editor's note, I just added uh, a new marble at the start of stream. Uh-oh, uh-oh, does that count? Is that on here? I'll, ch I'll check after the last one. And the final category is most feared anime marble. Select one anime from above that you would be the most fearful to have Joe watch. And that is it. So that is, the, these are the categories for our first ever Jadzia. It will be hosted on December 29th. Uh, you can type in uh, explanation mark 2023 awards in chat right now for the night bot. We'll, we'll link the, uh, the form for you to fill out if you would like to fill it out. Um, there it is. And you can type in your, your nominees here. Uh, once again, only nominate one per category and also you don't have to fill out every part. If you only want to nominate for these four, you can do that. If you want to nominate all of them, you can go for it. It's it's up to you. So the nominations will run until, um, sorry, the nominations will, will are open today and then we will come back and the voting will begin on November 27th, which is when we are going to be uh, playing Valhalla. So there'll be a stream when it starts. Merrick is adding me with a question. I'm afraid to, uh, it's probably gonna be, what happens if a bomb gets on the boat, Chan, or something? Does Bike Chan get grandfather to already be uh, to a boat Chan? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know about that. I say yes, do you think so? Is Bike Chan already on the boat? I think yes. All right, Bike Chan's already on the boat. And she will, she will warmly welcome the next Chan this year, who is, who joins her on the boat. Anyway, so that that is the announcement for today. Like I said, if you enjoy our bullshit, then um, I hope you enjoy even more bullshit. Boom, boom. <laughs> Shit. 
shiplass is boat hall, obviously. Shiplass. Alright, uh, was there anything, was there anything else, uh, that I was supposed to do, uh, at the beginning of today's stream? Um, so apparently there's a marble. Let me check that out. Review requests queue. Alright, Caps, buy a marble for the race. Alright, Caps, it's here. I can mark as complete. What is the marble? I want to redeem Little Witch Academia. Irene sends her regards. Little Witch Academia. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's not as cringe as it looks. Well, it looks pretty cringe, so that doesn't help me, does it? All right, synopsis on my anime list. A believing heart is your magic. These were the words that Utsuko Ako Kigari's idol. Oh my god, what a sentence. It's the, there's a comma. It's not even a period and it's already uh, it's already so much it's it's a it's a fucking whole smorgasbord of anime bullshit stuffed into a fucking burrito. Oh my god. Holy shit. The renowned witch shiny chariot said to her during a magic performance years ago. Since then, Akko has lived by these words and aspired to be a witch just like shiny chariot, one that can make people smile. Hence, even her non-magical background does not stop her from enrolling in Luna Nova Magical Academy. Of course, of course, of course, of course, it's about a school. Of course, it's about a school. However, when an excited Akko or is it Akko or Akko? Akko finally sets off to, to her new school. The trip there is anything but smooth. After her perilous journey, she befriends the shy uh, Ron we uh, L Lottie Jansen and the sarcastic Susie Man Bavar Man Bavarin Man Bavarin to her utmost delight, she also discovers Chariot's Wand, the shiny rod, which she takes as her own. Unfortunately, her time at Luna Nova will prove to be more challenging than Akko could ever believe. She absolutely refuses to stay inferior to the rest of her peers, especially to her self to her self-proclaimed rival, the beautiful and gifted Diana Cavendish. This this one's gonna be blonde, I feel it. Hold on, let's see. Green? Green blonde? Little green, little blonde? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Uh, so she relies on her determination to compensate for her reckless behavior and ineptitude in magic. <laughs> uh, in a time when wizardry is on the decline, Little Witch Academia follows the magical escapades of Eiko and her friends as they learn the true meaning of being a witch. All right. All right, then. Actually, you know what though? It it has a, a a soft art style. I don't know how to describe it. It's very pleasant to look at. The colors, I don't know. I don't know. I again, I'm very like the, the visual. I don't know how to judge art. So uh, there's there's been a lot of animes that have been uh, suggested, and I look at it, and like I won't say any of them look bad, but some of them look harsher than others. This looks this is more appealing. Um, but maybe the story's bad. It's just Sailor Moon for the next generation, right? Anyway, let me, uh... Mark is complete. Alright, that is on there. Okay, give me one moment to set up my windows, because I didn't have them set up because, uh... I needed my second monitor. For the announcement. Uh, I have Slay the Princess installed. I don't. I lied. One second, let me install it. Ninety gigabyte. Is it a ninety? It's not. It's not. It's 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 uh, a lot smaller than that, isn't it? Do 
download queued. It's eight gigabytes. No, just download, please. I can't remember. Do we settle on whether Bikoi off snow is technically a ch <laughs> Uh, did, uh, oh, crap. Did, uh, the Caps and Irene plan this? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, Ca Caps, Irene, Hypothetical Walrus, and Man of Answers are, are the ones that are helping me with this, uh, with this event. Um, there are a couple people that we're, that we're bringing on board, uh, that will be revealed as, as we go on, but, uh, those are the four that, uh, we had, we had a meeting, uh, on the, on the weekend about it, um, which explains the, the delay, uh, with, between the streams, so, uh, that's what was going on, so... Thank you to them. If you have any questions, then uh, you can ask uh, me or you can ask them. You can also ask Lily. Uh, Lily is, uh, is on board as well. Um, and we'll be uh, communicating throughout the process. Where do I vote again? Uh, the voting is not open yet. You, right now, you can nominate for categories. You can type in exclamation mark 2023 awards in chat. Someone will probably do it whenever I say it as well. Uh, and you can go there and you can go through the list and you can nominate for each category. And we're going to be, do the, we're going to be starting the voting on the 27th of November. Uh, maybe I should have added that to uh, the Nightbot command, saying that we're, we're going to be um, voting starts on November 27th. But maybe that would confuse people and they think they don't have to click the link on the form just yet. Hmm. Hmm. Have you ever played any of the Pikmin games? Just, just have to ask right now. Just slipping it in right now. You know what? I need to know if this motherfucker's played Pikmin. Uh, I've played Pikmin 1 uh, when it came out. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, and I played Pikmin 2. Uh, and I remember going into one of the dungeons after playing it for about 5 hours, losing all of my Pikmin to the last boss, being kicked out, and having to build up all my Pikmin all the way back up to, to, to normal levels again. And I turned the game off and I never played it again. So that's when last time I played Pikmin. I enjoy Pikmin 1. I like the concept. Is there a list somewhere of all the games that were streamed this year somewhere? Uh, maybe? There might be. I think... I think uh, Baldur has it on his website. He says after seeing that on Dragon's Den. It's also on Joepedia. Okay, game is almost downloaded. You know, so much fun, so much fun with my planned marble. I'm halfway. I'll let you know soon enough who sends the regards. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess we now know how much progress you have to lose to quit the game now. Oh, it's true! Hold on, hold on. Is that the same person who asked about Pikmin? Hold on, are you the same person who asked that the other day and you remembered me talking about Pikmin and you're like, you know what? Set it up, I'm gonna hit a home run? Holy shit, if you are, I'm so impressed. All right, the game is downloaded. Okay, so we're about to say play Slay the Princess. Uh, it is a horror game. I don't think it's going to be that scary, just like horror vibes. But you know, warning just in case. Uh oh. Alan Wake. Okay, it's not showing. Oh, it is showing now. Okay, there we go. Alright, so the game is providing the content warning for me. That's good. Alright. 
This is a horror game and it is not intended for all audiences. Please visit our website blacktabbygames.com if you need a full list of content warnings. Slay the Princess contains flickering image effects as well as a parallax effect on rare occasions that caused that sorry that on rare occasions have has caused motion sickness in players. If either of these cause health issues for you, you can disable them in the game's preferences. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong decisions, there are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Ah, What was that content warning about then? That's fine. Alright, full screen. Boil effect. Uh oh. Skip unseen te text. Is, is it a Rempy game? Alright, so what are we, uh. Sound. Does it sound okay? A little loud, maybe? Is it? Uh, let's get into the talking and we'll, we will see how it goes. All right, so um, before we get into new game, let me say thank you to people and um, and then we'll hit new game fresh. Game gets somewhat loud, does it? It seems a little loud on my end. Music? No, you know what? It's, it's really hard to tell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It is a loud, a little loud IMO. All right, I can turn it down a bit. Usually we're at minus uh, six point nine. We're at minus four. Okay. Um. Thank you to. Grobney for the new sub while stream is down. Uh, I Days is here for resubbing while stream is down. Sam from Am for the resub as well while stream was down. Pepperdue gave some bits while the stream was down with a message about Alan Wake 2, which I might not be able to read because it might be spoilers. Let me just read it myself, one second. Whoa, what's going on, princess? Hello? Oh, am I taking too long to start? Yeah, I can't read that message out loud, Pepper Dude, because of spoilers, but I, I, I acknowledge it. Yeah, um, you might be right about that character, yeah. Maybe I didn't take um, American Nightmares that seriously, uh, or, or notice that part in the other DLC as well. Hmm, okay. Um, thank you to Galuth for the resub. Thank you also to Haloli Ravioli, Dalmec for gifting a sub to Ellen... Elon's, uh, Elon, sorry, Elon's, Elon's musky balls. Thank you, thank you, Bartios for the Bartios for the resub. K Roniverse, hypothetical walrus. I'm ready to hear the big announcement. Nice, uh, a cosmic cabbage, the Tic Tac Man for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Liathon, Sir Nika, Supreme Cool, Mar Marzipan, Annie for Prez, Smokerin. K Kumi for some bits. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam Bolin. Also for the resub. Thank you, Beware the Umbrella. Leru Leru Geta? Hopefully. Cringy Corin. Gearfrex. Karim Fozzy. Jelly Channel. Jelly, you're gonna be live at the end of this, so are we, are we raiding you? What's what's the uh, what's the play here? Is Jelly still around? Maybe Jelly's already streaming. Manic Manic Pixie Dream Gun. Ooh, new Enter the Gungeon Gun just dropped. Uh, the Marfi Axel87, Drew Carrymore, FM Bearden, Evans111, Par Paramo Nata, Bu Noodle, Buy a Marble for the Race, Caps, EC, EC Ginger King for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Ginger King. Aussie9816 for the new sub. Cloaca Flock of Flame for the resub. Zero Vault for the bits. Vindenac for the resub. Lewis XOXOXO. Mamarios 4 2. Mamarios 4 2. Sorry. Uh, 
Good luck with your thesis, Memarios. Uh, a buff and thick baby is here and resubscribing. Lord Fifth Isith. Is that a, a reference to something? For the bits, thank you very much. Final thoughts on Alan Wake with no spoilers? Uh, I really liked it. I thought it was pretty good. It's probably my second favorite game of the year behind uh, behind Liza P. Although, if I play it again and I like it more, then it might overtake Liza P for me. I really enjoyed Alan Wake 2. Really cool game. Thank you, Ignored. Ignore, by the way. Uh-oh, for the new sub. I didn't ignore, sorry. Uh, why... L oh, God. Why, li why lie WB13? That, I butchered that for the resub. Thank you, Taruvan Bonsai. Darv, Darvker, Professor Asker, Professor Asker here. Oh, for gifting us sub. Thank you very much, Professor Asker. Thank you, Vanny Chu for the resub. Naked Jack Snake. Irina112, Green Trees. Thank you, Eolri for the new sub as well. Thank you, KX underscore X. TFK365 for gifting a sub to Macy. Vega, and a bunch of new subs from Russell Lolliot, Epixus, Epixus, and Ek Aria. Thank you to the three for the new subs. Welcome, welcome. Clawfist. We're doing Clawfist now. Most cringy sub thank you. Uh, an edible fruit has resubscribed. Thank you very much. That guy Olympus. Key to truth. And the last two on my list are Unpossible Car and Dick Cheney Ace Attorney. Thank you very much for the resubs. Clawfist. I really missed the full cringe treatment for subs. Whatever happened to all aboard the sub train? Choo choo, full stream ahead. Well, what happened was is that uh, it just took me, I don't know how long to, to read them through at a quick, at a, at a pretty brisk, just saying thank you, not reading messages, not doing the, the, the Clawfist stuff. Um, it just ended up taking up a lot of time. Some people don't like that I say thank you at all uh, because of the time it takes, but um, I. I like this compromise of uh, just saying a quick thank you with reading names out. What's your game of the year now you've played Alan Wake? Is it still ISP? It's still ISP, but Alan Wake 2 is number 2. Yeah. That's why 2 is in, in the title. Alright, here we go. So, Slay the Princess. New game. Alright. We will try and do some uh, sound tweaking after we hit it and see how loud she is compared to me. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Okay, so that was the first line. I didn't talk on it. Is it too loud, too quiet? What, what do we think? Voices could go up a little. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn the sound, the music down a little bit, and the sound down a little bit. And then I'm going to turn the bass volume up on OBS a little bit. And then we will see how it goes. Alright. Do I have to click or... Do, oh, there's auto. Alright. Oh, is it actually a rumpy game? You're here to slay her. If you, if you don't, don't, it, it will be, be the end, end of, of the world. world. So I've talked over him that time. So we still good on, on any audio tweaking that we need to do? Or are we good? We're good? All right, awesome. All right, let's continue. Explore, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Explore, have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Explore, killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Uh, explore, can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you, this is a lot, what? Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? <laughs> Have you considered that everything I say might be right and you might be wrong? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Silently continue to, to the cabin, turn around and leave. Okay, um, so I, I know from watching the trailer what, and the title also, it, it doesn't hide it, uh, what's happening here. So should I have that in mind or should I try and be like, hey, what, what, what do you mean? Like I'm fresh. Let's do that. Killing a princess isn't kind of bad, though, Does doesn't it? it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? No. If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Whoa! The end of the world. What are you talking about? 
have you, oh so is exploring um doesn't progress the scene let's see i'm talking about the end of everything as we know it no more birds no more trees and perhaps most problematically of all no more people you have to put an end to her oh, it's a woke word uh oh gamers are going to be mad but how can a princess locked away in the basement end the world? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Okay, I don't trust you, Flowey. Do you have any evidence to back this up? Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? That's true. If you've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. That's true, yep. M making some good points. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. Hmm. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. Alright, I'm hearing a lot of source dude just trust me. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Or... We could take the S away. Can't someone else do this? Oh, if only that were the case. But I don't make the rules. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. Like I said, I don't make the rules. No matter how much I wish I did. I think we're going to be hearing that again. Forget this, I'm not doing this. Are you serious? No, you have to do it. No, I don't. Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. like Nihilists, or very, very evil people. But surely you're not one of those, right? I am. Not only am I going to let her out, I'm going to help her. Not only, and I'll stream it, do I get some sort of reward for doing this? What, apart from, you know, being alive, because the world's going to continue? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay. Can you tell me what my prize is going to be for doing a good job? It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm coming around on killing her. Look, I'll go into the cabin and I'll talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say, then maybe I'll slay her, but I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin. Okay, I'm sold. Let's get this over with. Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Okay, you know what? You know what? Chat often complains to me that I don't follow with what the game is telling me to do, and the game is called Slay the Princess. The game is telling me to slay the princess, Let's go slay the princess. Good. As long as you remain focused on your goal, it should all be smooth sailing. Sorry, one second. Uh, I'll do it afterwards. It's okay. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Sorry, Lily has a bunch of monocoins riding on a certain bet and she wants me to change to what I'm doing. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Should we go on auto? If I go on auto, if ever I want to talk, I'm going to have to go down here and, and turn auto off. No, I want, to, I want to leave auto off. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Wait, are we talking to ourselves? Proceed into the cabin. Are we, like...
The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Ooh. I like the art style. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Explore, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Oh, the uh, the icon has changed to uh, to the blade. And to the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Oh! She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. That's not the word I would have picked. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Carlos here. Just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Continue down the stairs. Hi. Don't be a stranger. And it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yes. What? No way. Why would you even why would you think that? You're you're silly. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No, no, uh, no, I haven't decided yet. I'm here to talk. Steal your nerves and stuff or I'm killing her. I'm you killing her. Forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Absolutely doing it. Oh, no talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? The, the, the blade. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? I'm sorry, can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade. Slay the, Slay the prince! It's right there! That's the you lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh, this was easy. Okay, we did it. Oh. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Yes. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. And because she believes it... But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Of course it is, she's dead, I'm not sure. I feel like she has to have some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not, that was too easy. Yeah, of course it is, she's yes. dead. Yeah. Exactly. It's over. Yeah, it's over. She's dead. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. Okay, what's the reward? But that day isn't today. 
Let's just get out of here. Reward, please. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Uh-oh. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Do we have to go downstairs and chain ourselves in the next game, Slay the Prince? Wait, this is my prize? This is great! Thank you so much! Wait, this is my prize? This sucks. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the- Yeah, that's- yeah, that, yeah. This isn't an ending. Okay. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Oh. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. One must imagine the Princess Slayer happy. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? Explore. Uh, oh. Okay, I'm... I thought that would just be a bad end it, it, it keeps going okay didn't you hear the narrator i'm happy we're happy hell no do you have any idea how to get us the heck out of here of course we are i like it here i don't like it here explore are we really happy or is he just telling us that we are excuse me hmm okay maybe i'm not happy and i'm not just saying that because you're the last person i talked to no we're happy i'm sure of it no i'm not happy good because I have an idea to get us out of here. Though you're probably not going to like it. Okay, we are a, a crazy person. Alright. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I like it. I can hear everything you say, little voice. <laughs> There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. No, it's just Gollum again! We're just playing Gollum again! Okay. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. <laughs> Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of this hell. You're right, I didn't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around and do nothing, at least for a little while longer. How astute. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. In a sense, we'd die, but looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing, constantly, forever. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, that's true. That's true, and we did slay the princess, but I'm gonna need three more... Hmm, you'd better be right about this. I, I'll be pretty upset if we if we die, die. I'm not risking death over your weird hunch. Anything to get out of this hell. You're right, I didn't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around and do nothing, at least for a little while longer. Yeah, that, that, that's... Yeah, what that's a true. relief. Yeah, let's just stick around. You know, we don't need to make a decision. I suppose we've got all the time in the world for you to change your mind. Eventually it's going to happen. More happy time passes. Though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. 
Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. The idea of being stuck somewhere with nothing to do for all of eternity is very, like, that's hell to me. But I wonder if it actually would remain hell. How long do you have to be an eternal being stuck in a, like a, like a, a plane of nothingness before you find a way to just access part of your brain that you can just delude yourself into thinking whatever you want, right? Live in your mind palace or something. Hmm. Yeah, hey, hey, good ending. You did it. You saved everyone. Yay. All right. I wonder if that could have kept going for a while longer if uh, if I stabbed myself. Hmm. Slay the Princess, created by Tony Howard, Arias, and Abby Howard. I think I know the name Abby Howard. The Princess, Nicole Goodnight. Voices in your head, Jonathan Sims. That name's familiar too, Jonathan Sims. Uh, Amelia Jones vocals. Alright. Your song. You switch your playing as an expression of our gratitude. Here's a track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by pressing H. Your song? Princess World Ender Eternal Bliss. Yay, you did it? What? Play our other game. Follow us somewhere else. Okay, I think we're going to oh, subreddit. All right, let's go back. All right, so now we we play again and we see what else we did. What happens if we don't kill her? Chapter one: the hero and the princess. Can we get to a chapter You're two? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. You're here to slay her. If you don't. It will be the end. Okay, of the now world. it's saying skip. If I skip, it'll it'll show it. It'll stop on any line that I haven't heard before, right? Hold on. I'm. T what? Okay, so it's nothing. Nothing different. Okay, look, I'll go into the cabin, I'll talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say, maybe I'll slay her, but I'm not committing to anything until I've had a chance to meet her face to face. So let's go with that one, yeah. Okay. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But, a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Ooh, I like honeyed words, though. Then each and every one of us is doomed. Oh, before we get into uh, another run of this, let me say thank you to uh, someone, Dalmec, for gifting a sub to... <laughs> Mathiv Puthi, thank you very much. Captain JK for the resub, Sergeant Cupcake for the resub, Ark of Turris for the resub as well, and Flip a Coin Thrice, this time for a real though, prediction ended. Thank you very much. I said thank you to Key to Truth, didn't I? Key to Truth and Lack Eye Olympus? Impossible car? Yeah, that was before Dick Cheney's return. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's continue. Each and every one of us is doomed. So sure. Go. Talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. I will. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Proceeded to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden... Oh, we saw this before. Let's go. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase this is different. illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. No, we did hear this before. Why is it... 
Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Oh, so she knows our intentions when we come down. Interesting. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Hi. <laughs> Just checking in on you. I'm here to save you. Lie, I'm here to save you. Hey, I think I'm here to slay you. Continue down the stairs. Yeah, hey, I, hey I, I, I think I'm here to slay you. You must have the wrong address. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Great job. You've given away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. You were joking about coming to kill me, right? Do, do you think you could get me out of these chains? Hold on, let's talk a bit first. I'll see what I can do. Examine yeah, I'll see what I can do. Hold on, let me see the chains. Yeah, one second. Only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. And as you're doing it, she reaches up and gives gives him the old neck snap. And then someone else walks down the stairs and sees it. And she's like, shame, pulls out a gun. I'm guessing you don't have the key? No, I don't, sorry. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabinet. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find someone to break you free. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. I'll miss you. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Wait, what? Is someone else here? Explore. Hey, let me out of here. Try the door. You try the door. But it's locked from the outside. Uh oh. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? So we're roommates. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. together. I don't see a sink down here, so how are they, you know, doing stuff? She barely hesitates before uh, raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through uh, her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Oh, okay, that, that happened quickly. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you, the clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. Cut her arm? You won't like what happens if you do that. So I'm saving. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, what, what, just what? above the unyielding chain binding her. To this what? Place. What are we? What the? What the fuck are these d d dragon sona hands? What? Cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Mm, wouldn't it, though? Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. 
She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. I know. She's so tough. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Okay, why didn't she just do that already then? Hmm. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait. This isn't fair. You can't just do that. Yeah, that's bullshit. Watch me. No! What are you doing? Slay the princess, slay the princess, slay the princess. Warn her. Ah! Oh, that's a cool use of uh, the options. Warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward. The blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. It's like Dark Souls. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. What if she had a bat right now? We'd be fucked. Slay the princess, slay the princess. Resist! The blade! Move the blade! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh, but... Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, she means it. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm oh. sorry! <laughs> she doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry! Oh, where did my knife skills go? With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. This seems genuine. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Chapter 2, The Damsel. Oh, this time we get to Chapter 2! You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Uh... You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting it. Oh, this time it's different. Okay, so there are... Restarts within... A continuity and then there's actual actual endings so when we last run we we got an actual ending okay I wonder how many actual endings there are it's not a spiral it's a spring 
Uh, I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu? No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, <laughs> we'll have to be sneaky about it. <laughs> our beloved? <laughs> Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Four? We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. I, I mean, I agree. I put Putin above it, but yeah. This is more than just deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Let's assume I'm telling, I'm telling the truth, and all this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Where's the broom closet? If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. You were the one who did us in, villain. Yeah! Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Protestations. Anyway, I believe your second question was, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Uh... What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Does she remember? Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. True! Convoluted. I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. I'm with them. I'm going to find a way to save her from, the, from that cabin. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. No, we have all the time in the world, apparently. The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her. She could barely hold a knife. How is she supposed to end the world? Huh, and you believed her? She was faking being bad at that. She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Hmm. Maybe it's her beauty that threatens the world. Sure, it's her beauty. Why not? And before you ask, no, we can't just keep her down there. If you don't slay her, she's going to find a way out. It's unfortunate, I know, but it's just the way it is. Do 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 do. Who locked her in the in that basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. People locked her away, then why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? I like the questions. Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. <gasps> you're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. Aw, narrator called me special? Now I'm in? 
Oh my god, thank you. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know, yeah. I didn't. Of course you're special. <laughs> Why else would you be here? Calling us special isn't going to make us friends. Even if it did feel nice. It did feel... Yeah, it did, yeah. Oh, believe me. <laughs> the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. But I'm a professional. And I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. You're being cagey. What aren't you telling... David? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. My word is my bond. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Proceed to the cat. Oh, I, I can just leave. Hit the bricks. I'm going. I'm with them. I'm going to find a way to save her from that cabin. That's right. You can't stop all of us. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? <sighs> You're not at the cabin yet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. Proceed to cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. <laughs> this is this is so good for making you want to reconsider your path. Like, I want to... Like, <laughs> he's so awful. Oh, man. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. Maybe, maybe that is the narrator trying to convince us to do something else by pretending to be this obnoxious simp. I don't know. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is Whoa. clean and elegant. Hey, what? It's stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. All right, I, I know what we do. We just keep doing the same loop and every single time um, the interior gets better and better and then we kill her and then our eternity is spent in a much nicer place. If we do enough loops, maybe we'll get a computer. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different than last time. Explore, approach the mirror, take the blade. All right, uh, I didn't say anything about the mirror. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's a mirror. What? There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I'm sure the princess would tell us there was a <laughs> mirror if she were up here. <laughs> in which case she'd be lying to you because, again, there isn't a mirror. The raider can't see a mirror. Why would you lie about that? What's the point? I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. Oh, man. Wow. How many how many hours into this game are we? And we're looking at our reflection? Because we'd be curious? Whoa. Damn. Wow. The technology. Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? That you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Yes. This whole camera is different last, than last time. Very different. Is it? I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time around. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. 
I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Can I rewind with mouse scroll like you can in uh, some games that might be like that? No, you so can't? focus okay. up. Stop letting yourself get distracted. Uh, approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. This is gonna kill us, isn't it? You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous uh, you look right now. Are we... Are we a dragon that's captured our princess? What the fuck is this? But it was there a second ago. Oh. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I wonder if I had picked I want to see my reflection before. That would have been different than what we just did. Okay. Um, chat, are we meant to save it and try options? Or are we meant to restart from the beginning every single time? I I don't... You know what? Let's do a run and then I'll ask chat about that. Uh, I'm not taking the blade. I want to go down. I want to do the exact same thing again. The door to the basement creaks oh, open. This is very revealing nice. Revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. If we keep doing enough loops, it's going to be a nice room, and then be like, yeah, whatever, let's, let's, let's let her live. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Oh, where did my arm go? Hello? Is someone there? Her voice... It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. I can charm her back, though. Go down the stairs. Hey, hey. <laughs> Is her arm... Walk down the okay, her arm's back. eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you <laughs> from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? Can she? she popping more cleavage than last time? Is she, like, preening herself in anticipation? Is she, like, playing with us back here? Why are there two chains? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Wait, you don't know? Okay, what the hell's going on here? Alright, this is really interesting so far. How many different entities are here? Or is it just is it just one and there's different facets of the same entity? Hmm. Or is there two, and there's different facets of, of, of each one? Hmm. I kind of- or is he lying? I, I kind of believe him, though. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? Where's the proof? We never saw a world end. Yeah, it's... And now I'm even <laughs> more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. 
It's like being on Twitter, man. There's, uh, there's so many people you agree with, but they're saying it in the worst, most obnoxious way that you're just like, oh man, what the fuck? Why? Why? All right, you killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? I didn't uh, bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have to ask, did you, after, did you end the world after you killed me back there? I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. Another version of me was pushed to such drastic action it was for good reason that's okay you were just doing your best and that's all that matters oh she took that in stride to a surprising extent an almost unsettling extent actually oh she's evil for sure i can fix her that's because she's perfect no, I, uh, uh... do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do she doesn't there's no one else like me what if there is? I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. You killed me last time and hurt a lot. Why did you do that? We know why. We know why. We know why. I didn't bring a, kni bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? Alright, here you go. What happened after I died? Let's see that he one. He died, and now we're talking. Okay. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. I love her so much, chat. I love her so much. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists, and indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. Can we do that? What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Watch me. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? It's very weird, yeah. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. With what? You killed me last time I heard a lot. Why'd you do that? But before we started talking, did the world, did the world end? Did you end the world? Let's do this one. I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? Did we? No. We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. <laughs> That's practically telling her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. But before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. Wait, what? My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. No, no it wasn't. What? No, I don't want the world to end. I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague, and I hope you brought a slow and painful ruin to them all. Uh, no, I don't want the world to end. Then I didn't end the world. See? She didn't confess anything. She is innocence itself. Um, not so sure. Rescue the princess. No. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... you will what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? If you can do that, why don't you just do it all the time? Yeah, that's right. Why don't you do it all the time? I would if you had a weapon. Oh, oh, okay. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Whoa. You wouldn't. I would. I would. Yeah. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. Wait, why? That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The 
princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? Uh, she's about to do something awful, isn't she? What do we do now? Uh, what do you want to do? We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what to do, what we want to do next. What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? Oh, but she does. So gullible. It's the only thing you've ever doubted, the actual truth. I think I want to leave. And I think... I want to burn everything. The princess closes her eyes in uh -oh. deep reflection. Please ask for ice cream or something. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Pick a place and we'll order the food. What the what? Oh, whoa. I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. If you want to leave, then let's leave. I want. There must be. There must be something you want. Okay, is that an aggressive, or is it happy? There must be something you want. Let us make it happen. Or there must be something you want. Come on. I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. Uh, she can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. Uh -oh. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. Uh-oh. Uh there must be something you want, but what would make you happy? You being happy. I just want to make you happy. Is she broken? What's going on? What's going on is she's lying to you, only she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? Oh, chat's liking her more and more as this goes on. There must be something you want. I just want to make you happy. This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. <laughs> you don't have to act like it's a big deal. <laughs> you have to want something more than just making me happy. Okay, I'll find something else to want if that makes you happy. Oh, no, 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 go back. But Oh, shit, no. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? Like we're the only ones here? And it's all she wanted. She even unlocked. You don't get the chance to ask another question. Something has taken her away and it's left something else in her place. Oh, she was our perfect match. I know, Rip. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? What mirror? There's no mirror. I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator is gone. The the narrator's gone? Where did my narrator go? It is. Does that mean the world ended? No, because the narrator stayed when the world ended in the other one. Is the narrator the same entity as the princess? A villain vanquished. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. I can't believe she was taken away from us. The nerve. The nerve. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. Right? Approach the mirror. What's up? I'm begging you. Don't do this. Ignore him. Uh oh. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. The body. It's you. Achievement. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift 
of a fragile vessel. But not that fragile vessel. What are you? The gift of a fragile, but not that fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity, destroy your body. This is a lot of questions. Uh, what are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? The city. I'm a person. What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. Solitary lights, what do you mean? Okay, explore isn't always safe. Hmm. Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Devin chat? VA in chat? VA the princess in chat? Ban the princess? Ban the princess? We have to go along with it? The narrator's son- I'm kidding. Hello. <laughs> what do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. The gift of a fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? Are you- Okay, so this- we were back at the, uh, the base, uh, explore. Was this here before? I don't think it was. Okay, I'm worried that one of the explore options is going to kick us out of this, so what's the most important question I want to ask here? Do you know the narrator is a good one? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Huh. Okay. Get yes. to the fragile vessel. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you. And she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Okay, so definitely reacting to what we're doing and the feelings that we have going into it. Alright, that's really interesting. Hmm. Oh, why is it why is it coming with the pre with the, the, the preconceived notion of, of slaying her then? Where's that coming from? Alright, that's interesting. Give them a marble. <laughs> no, then we have to explain the whole marble thing. Oh no, no, no! We can't just give marbles out all the time. It's not complicated. It's we mean it's not complicated. It's very complicated. All right, let's 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 do let's do the the uh, the simple version simple version then. Uh, is it row, row 653? Row 653, would, would you like to um, s suggest uh, uh, an anime that you really like that you would like me to watch as my first serious anime watching ever? We're doing an event, and, and if you would like to put a marble into the race, mm -hmm. the marble represents... Um, oh, it's the wrong person? Who is the per I'm looking at the pin, I'm sorry. It says row, yep, I via the princess. Oh, sorry, it's Nicole Goodnight. Sorry, it's right there, I have to click on it. Nicole Goodnight, if you would like to, that is the name that was in the credits, wasn't it? Sorry. Uh, Nicole Goodnight, if you would like to uh, propose your favorite anime or an anime you'd like me to watch as my first anime ever watching it seriously, then um, then we can add it to the Marble Race. Sorry. Oh shit, uh, let me think. You could also say none of them. You could say no anime. And we'll put a no anime marble in. <laughs> Give Ro a marble too. <laughs> Do not warn her, she has served her purpose. Alright, this is interesting. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? That's a good point. I really enjoyed I'm gonna say this wrong Higurashi no Naku Kuro, Koro Ni but that is definitely not everyone's style oh, let me look it up Okay. 
usually we read it. The first OP is a banger at least. Kasoro's seal of approval. Kichi Meibera has just moved to the quiet village of Hina Mizawa in the summer of 1983 and quickly becomes inseparable becomes inseparable friends with schoolmates Rena uh, there's a school Rena Ryu Ryuju Gu Ryugu uh, Mion Sonazaki Satoko Hojo and Rika Furudi Furud however darkness lurks underneath the seemingly idyllic life they lead is there going to be spoilers in this or no any spoilers will most likely time spoil oh will it okay I won't read any more than that then okay chat seems to be happy with that one so sure we can add it Apparently it's an excellent choice. It is the second more. Oh, is it already on there too? Oh, now it has two. Okay, it can it can bypass it. It can bypass it. It's a special marble. Princess got a marble. <laughs> All right, let it, let us focus on the game. How can the world have ended if we are if we are talking? All right, let, let her out of there. Okay, that might end it. Let's go. Are you what what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Same author as Umineko. You know what? I think we need the other VA here to also propose that one. And then we can add it. No, I'm kidding. All right. Uh, do, you, do you know the world's to be honest? I know only that they are. Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? All right. It seems like these aren't ending it. She is part of me, and part of me is her. Uh-oh. But you were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? Say nothing. You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? I'm starting to think that the only reason there is a princess is because the narrator says that there's a princess, and that leads us to have the expectation of a princess. Hmm. Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Ooh, that moved. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope, as I witness you. You are familiar, okay. Uh, what happens now? Attack the entity, destroy your body. Why would I attack? These two options, I, I'm not... Let's go with what happens now. Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Hmm. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I need have to find? And what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to say the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? If you believe, is she, is she gonna say something like, if you believe that's what I'm going to do, then that's what I'll do. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Not hearing a no. You're being cemented. <laughs> what are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Aren't you scared I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? 
More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Okay, so there are a series of conclusions that lead to this point, or something like this, and if we find enough of them, then we get a more conclusive ending than the first one that we got. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. I'm not going back. Wait. Alright, what if we wait? If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Aw, oh, she's so nice. Wait forever? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. Yeah, probably. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? <laughs> That's good, I like that. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side, until you're ready to return to mine. Okay then. All right then, all right. Nice one game. Oh, <laughs> Princess? You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Oh, uh, nice. Oh, uh, well done. Did it close the game? Yeah, I had to restart the game and it's right back here. Oh, you guys can't see it. Oh, now it's back. Okay, it just took a it just took a second for OBS to be able to see it. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. Bring the deconstructed damsel to her. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You won't. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so we're almost at two hours. Uh, let's take a break. I'll be right back. I'm going to go pee real fast. Uh, if you've been sitting the whole time, get up, walk around, get a drink. Um, before I go, let me say thank you to some people. Thank you to S. Kafka-esque. S. Kafka-esque. Uh, for the three-month new sub. Always confuses me that when uh, when they come in a batch like that. Thank you very much, Kafka. Thank you. I don't know, just one for the resub. Mick Skies for the resub. Music for Plants for the resub. And Dalmec for gifting a sub to Nicole Goodnight. Thank you, Dalmec. Thank you. Welcome, Nicole Goodnight. We hear your stream achievement notice, by the way. This has never happened before, I don't think. Um, I'll see if I can turn it off when I get back. But I'll be right back in five minutes. Go get some water. Walk around.
All right, back. Sorry for those a bit longer. Uh, Finn is a little sick today, and uh, the house is uh, a flutter with it, so I wanted to check on everybody. Are you familiar with the Magnus Archive, where the narrator voice actor comes from? I haven't heard of it, sorry. I, I don't know Magnus Archive. Is it good? Get yeah, we'll soon fit. Yeah, uh, I don't think he's getting enough sleep. If you're at all curious, the first time sub for three months because I've been a long-time fan of YouTube channel and I've been semi lurking in the streams for quite some time as well. Uh, so I know what I'm getting. Oh, that's thank you. Uh, that's uh, that's generous of you. Thank you, Kafka. I'm glad you like the YouTube channel. There'll be content soon. I know. Exciting. Exciting. Can we do backlog reviews once we're done reading? I can grab a link of of Slay the Princess. Um, let's let's make sure that we uh, that we finish it first. And we have time. Wow, deja vu. I felt like I dreamt that. Whoa. Whoa. Anyway, let, let's continue. Uh, so we want to, just to be sure I don't want to miss any content or upset anyone from the, from the playthrough, because because uh, some people really wanted me to play this. Um, can I skip this safely right now when I once I get back into the cabin and everything, or should I click through every single time? I'm going to guess that I should, I, I can skip through it, right? If, it, if this is skipped down here, it's safe to skip, right? Uh, what if I just leave? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Yeah, I'm leaving. Do you even know where you're going? Nope. Okay, fine, you're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and slay the princess. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her, maybe I won't. I guess we'll see. Lie, yes, I definitely know where I'm going. Nope, the only thing that, <laughs> that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I am not going to the cabin. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. Gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. Quietly continue down the pathway from the cabin. Let's do that. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. That loops to another path to a different cabin. Looks exactly the same. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Hmm. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm going to the cabin. Sheesh. Turn around again and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Forever. I don't care, I'm not killing a princess. Good, maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. Oh, true! Actually, you know what? Actually true? You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. Yeah, I'm going that I one. I said everyone. I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. And, last I checked, you're part of everyone too, so if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as well. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Is there a wall somewhere that I can run into for five hours? Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. There's no fighting this, is there? I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh yeah? Well, I guess I start walking a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. The cabin starts to move. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. Uh-oh. 
But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. That's cool. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And a lighthouse. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. I feel like we're still in the dark place. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. It's not a cabin, it's a village. Well done. Well done. That's going to be the enduring meme from, from the Alan Wake playthroughs, isn't it? It's not an X, it's an X. There we go. Or it's not an X, it's a Y. Chapter 2, The Stranger... Oh, this continues! That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that was going to be a... You're on a path in the woods. I see a wall! And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu? No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Alright, is there gonna be a voice of the... Coward or something? I don't know. Ah! It's no fun if he knows what we're thinking. It's me! Captive audience. <sighs> the entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. <laughs> if by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. So we need to get a new voice in chapter two and bring that to the, the, the princess with the hands behind her, I'm guessing. That's my read on it right now. Maybe it's different every time, maybe it's not always that princess. Hmm. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Lie, yep, okay, heading to the cabin now where I'm definitely going to slay the princess. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I'm going to the cabin. Silently proceed to the cabin. If I can't run away from the cabin, then I'm just staying here in the woods forever. Stay in the woods forever. Alright, last time, that ended very badly for us. Whatever. Oh, that's clever. A little boring, though. It's extremely boring. Alright, let's not do it then. Can we really do that? Can we really just do nothing? No, you can't just do nothing. You have to do something. Yeah, you have to take up space. Uh, is the voice is quieter for everyone, anyone else, or is it just me? Is the headset on my head properly? The right ear's not on. I feel like they got quieter. Alright, so it's decided. Even if it's boring, we're going to do nothing. Forever. Is it fine? Congratulations. You continue to waste everyone's time and do nothing. Wait, can you still hear me? It's getting... Oh, it's getting really quiet now. What is that weird feeling? It's like I'm barely even here anymore. Well, it's not nothing, that's for sure. Does that mean we messed up? The world around you is unwound, its physical matter replaced by a texture of nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There is a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. Other. Other is a cool word. You already know what dwells in the empty spaces. 
feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Confusion. Why are you here? I am unfinished. Resistance. Fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to use to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. Force pushing against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. This world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something new. A wagging finger. There is only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am our only salvation. Oh, crap. Return to your destined path or face the consequences. All right. You're on a path. Okay, so that was the wrong contrarian answer. We needed to be more of a contrarian in that path a little bit. Oh, someone wanted me to uh, to turn this the stream overlay off. Uh, let me all tab out. What is the stream overlay hockey again? F four or something like that? What is it? I thought it was the shift tab. Did it change? No, it is shift tab, it's not working. Uh, it's not coming up. Hold on, let me go to the Steam settings. How do I turn uh, achievement notification sound off? I thought it would be in the overlay, but it's not. Alright, Steam settings, I went there. Play a sound when notification toast is displayed. Alright, let's turn that off. Why did that turn back on? Show notification to toasts when I'm not in game, never. I don't wanna I don't wanna see them. I'm good, thanks. Oh, you know what? I do wanna see them. Sometimes we get an achievement and it's got a funny name and I get to read it out. And it's not that that um, intrusive. Let's turn it back on. But I don't want to hear a sound. Alright, that should be fine. Did you ever play The Longing? It's an idle adventure game. I definitely recommend it. No, I didn't, but it looked really interesting, but I didn't know if I needed to keep it running the whole time or whatever, and it seemed like a big uh, big commitment, but it was a very interesting idea. That was the game that runs in real time, right? You have to, you have to wait a year of real time to, to see it, and um, there's certain things that change with the, the, the progress of the time, I think. Like, a, there's a drip, and it fills up a, a water, or you can read some books in, in the game or something. Um, yeah. Okay, end of the world. Alright, so I want to do the exact same thing I just did, except I want to... Uh... Um, whatchamacallit. I want to not stay there forever, so walk away from the cabin. I can't. What? Oh. Really? Oh damn. So you can you can mess up? What if I exhaust all these options? Don't look your Okay, I can't. Oh, hmm. Okay, I'm sold. Okay, the, uh, the Viva whatever's not here. The Monarch. That's weird. Alright. Huh. Okay, let's go with thanks to tell me what to do. I'm really surprised at that. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. Okay, let's just listen to what the narrator says, tells us to do now. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Okay, we can skip. If it lets us skip, proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in the blade. Uh, alright, let's take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faint. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. Okay, so we saw Almost. this before. That's if we take 
take the knife. Don't let it uh, fool you. Okay, we did. I think I'm here to kill you. I think we slay slay last time, right? Um, just silently go along with it. We kind of did that already. Maybe there was something we were meant to do. Just use the knife on ourselves on that path, maybe, and that restarts it. We didn't do that. Let's go with that and see if we get that again. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Thank you, Lily. Okay, so we're just gonna... We're just listening to the narrator this time. And the narrator just wants us to step forward and kill her. Which we kind of already did, but then if, if that leads to the exact same thing as last time, then we will use the knife on ourselves like we like we didn't do last time, I think. Let's try that. You step forward. You're... Okay, she's not hissing it. Okay, slay the princess. You lunge forward with... Yeah, so it's the same thing. Okay, so of course she is. She's dead. Uh... Oh, it's too easy! Oh, yeah. That was too easy. Yeah, it was too easy. over. Don't get all worked up. No, too easy. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? Uh oh. I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? There is no pulse. I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Remove the blade. Check for a pulse. You're right. She's dead. Let's just get out of here. All right. Now we're now we're going against the uh, <laughs> the narrator. <laughs> I'm checking for a pulse. You lean down and place your hand against her neck, holding your breath as you search for a pulse, even though you know you're not going to find one. We definitely won't if you keep talking. I'm sorry. Do you want her to be alive? You just saved the entire world from annihilation. Why are you suddenly trying to call that into question? Oh. Wait. What was that? You know what that was. That was the sound of a heartbeat. Followed by another. A and another. I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Something sharp digs into your side, the shock of it sending your nerves into a pained frenzy. Knife too? Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. An eye for an eye. A life for a life. I guess we're even now. See you around. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? It doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. For whatever that's worth. So narrator- Everything goes dark. And you die. Narrator cares? Or is it just a matter of principle? Oh! Chapter 2! The ra- Okay, so this is another path. Hmm. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Is there a chapter three? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. What's going to be here? The slain? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Voice of the dead? This whole thing's a crock she of did. shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. <laughs> Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. Yeah, that's true. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons, so there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Literally made for this job. This is more than just deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. Like I said, we've just met for the first time, you and I. 
Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? This seems like the same as last time, right? Turn. Oh, now we, we can leave. Let's leave. We can leave and we can go on the other path. And let's, let's see if we can collect more voices. Let's just get them all. I'm hit the brick. I'm leaving. <laughs> and away we go. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave. Do you even know where you're going? No. <laughs> huh. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Okay, so I feel like I can I can get back on that path now then. That that was locked out from me. But will that lock me out of this path that I'm in right now? Oh no. I kind of want to save it and then come back if that works because if I was to, to choose between the, the contrarian and no, I'd rather be the contrarian than she did but I don't want to I don't want to lock myself out of two paths accidentally but does that count as save scumming what would I do if I was playing on my own if I was playing on my own I would save it just to be safe let's save it just to be safe all right now I want to see what happens if I keep doing this turn around and uh, again and leave really again. keen on wasting everyone's right, time so that's this is it it's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, Everything's getting dies, fuzzy. dies. Okay. For what, what's going on? Where are we? That son of a bitch flipped over the table, didn't he? Oh, okay. So if you don't do it... Then it, then it, then you break it. Okay, so now I'm locked out of that one. All right, do I want to own this or do I want to go back and and load it? I think I want to load it. I think I want to load now that I know, because it's just I want to see what the path does. It's interesting. Mm, I think I want to load. Quick load. Okay, going back into the cabin, sheesh. Okay. That's great to hear. As long as you bring that fiery attitude to princess slaying, I think this will all resolve splendidly. One second, it'll show up in a second. It takes a second. It'll show up in a second. There you go. See? The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of Whoa. warped wood and broken boards. Their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hmm. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the same table, line as and the daughter. There's definitely a mirror. What's she did gonna say? There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this extra noise. This is so bitter. Would contrarian? What would? Whose side would contrarian take? There is a mirror. No, there isn't. I care about. Uh, yeah, I wanna. I want to see the mirror. I want to see how how handsome I am. I care less about that and more about whether we're being lied to. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes, there is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Approach the mirror. Last time approaching the mirror did nothing. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Okay, so same thing. But it was there a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I <laughs> hate this place. <laughs> I hate this place. He sounds familiar. He sounds like one of the the uh, the bunny guys from uh, Liza P. Uh, I think we want to take the blade, right? I think Cheetah would like to have a blade. You take the blade from the table. 
It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. There you go. Let's make her earth for what she's done to us. Into the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. Okay, so when we were the smitten, we got the right ending by acting smitten. So should we do we act cheated or do we get cheated? Hmm. But on the other side, contrarian, when we were the contrarian, we did the ultimate contrarian move was just like fuck you, I'm not playing and that didn't work. So it's not always like that. Hmm. Okay. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. Oh, does she have a big Dark Souls sword? That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Yeah, because it's going to become real if you keep thinking it. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. Oh. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. Oh, she sounds so hot. I mean, gross. She sounds so gross. There's something so wrong with that voice. Uh-oh. Yeah. She thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp cool. eyes following you from across the room. Oh, why is it... the window's there too? Hmm. How does a cellar have a window like that? Because the last ones did too. Is it built into the side of the hill? If you went around the hill, would the bottom of the cabin be stuck up a little bit? I guess so, that could happen, right? Alright. I wonder if she remembers us. Somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Alright, let's do it. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? <laughs> you are here to rescue me, right? If I come close to you, you're just going to stab me, aren't you? I hope she's like, what? No. What? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. <laughs> And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to help me. Yeah, yeah, not stabbing distance. Yeah, okay. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who is armed? You. So stop second-guessing yourself and do your job. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Do you remember what happened last time? Last time? If somebody came into my house and stabbed me to death and then I killed him, surely I would remember that. Yeah, and I don't. But I don't yeah. remember it, so it must not have happened. Last time? What are you talking about? I believe her. Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. <laughs> I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. Uh, narrator, how are you not getting this? 
But that's exactly what happened. So you do remember it. I know you have a knife. I'll let you out of here if you drop it. I'd like to trust you, but you're being so suspicious right now. Can we talk things through? I don't have the key. We killed each other last time. I'd rather not do that again. Look, I know you're mad at me, but I think we both just need to let bygones be bygones. What if we're both honest with each other? I was sent here to stop you from ending the world, and you killed me last time after coming back from being stabbed in the heart. Nobody has to die. These are a lot of options. Okay, what are you going to do if I let you out? Okay, fine. I'm coming closer for you. You'd better not try anything. Approach the princess. Yeah, I'm not trusting this. Bye. Turn and leave. Screw it. Slay the princess. Let's explore. Um, uh, that's, you do remember it. Would I just lie? Would I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? Yes. I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. <laughs> Aha! She slipped up there. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. It does count. Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. This is only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. I know I have a knife. I'll let you out of here if you drop it. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't harmed. <laughs> prove, prove it then! Prove that you don't have a knife! Prove that it's not a ghost! It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. That's a good point. That's a good point. The princess smiles as she pulls her Ooh. hands from behind her back. Okay, is it is it laced through one of the chains? Through her, uh, through her dress. But look at this! Hands! Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with! Her smile stretches into an <laughs> even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. <laughs> and empty sleeves, too! Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. Practically zero means it's not zero! Huh. But what if you're just hiding it somewhere secret? I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait, that sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp and flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Oh, what? Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. I'd like to trust you, but you're being so suspicious right now. That's so rude of you, passing judgments on strangers you've never met just because they're different from you. How would you like it if I did that, huh? Silly little bird face thinks he's so serious coming down here but doesn't know anything. Thinks he can tell me to get rid of all the knives I don't even have while he gets to wave one around right in front of me. Bird face? I bet you didn't like that, did you? I bet you didn't like being judged for no reason. I didn't. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? But she has a knife! We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. I don't have a, I don't have a bat! Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? Yes. You're acting like you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. I like all the bickering. No. I have my dignity. Fine. And we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. Can we just talk things through? I don't have the key. Okay, what should we do? Should we just go for it, or what? 
But what if we're both honest with each other? I was sent here to stop you from ending the world, and you killed me last time after coming back from being stabbed in the heart. Let's do it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. I think I've said my piece at this point. So no honesty? Alright. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. Yeah, I think I think we've we've hit it. Yeah, I don't have the key. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. <laughs> you won't be able to find the key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't what what kind of key is it? Is it one of those keys with the chunky teeth that go in or is it like a like a modern car key or something? Uh, who knows? Who yeah, we yeah, sure. What if it's one of those weird puzzle ornate locks? Yeah. Okay, I'm bored now. Uh-oh. She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's uh oh In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? <laughs> Is talking a free action? What At are least we we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance. At least for a moment. Yeah, until she chops her arm off and then comes and does the old stabby stab. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. This is like a bat and a knife together. We're fucked. And then Just... she slices through her arm. <laughs> Run! Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. She's it, let's go! She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. Ah, shit. Okay, she's down an arm and we still have a weapon. I guess we'll have to use it. And use it you do. But unfortunately for you and for the entire world, you are horribly outmatched. You keep pace with her for a single brief and Not again. exchange before she severs your hand and, with it, your only line of defence. She's much better at this than she was last time. Yeah, it's unreal. Bloody cheater. I'm going to kill you now," she said before she killed us. With a squelch, she does just that. Wait, did the icon change to the other hand that we have left? <laughs> Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh, chapter three! There is a chapter three, the arms race. You're on a path in the woods. No. Fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Oh, he's getting angry. You're what? The interior of the cabin is sharp. A constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? I feel dizzy. Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Nobody. Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. Huh, now there's two of them! What? What's the point of fighting? Broken? She's going to win every time. It hurts being sliced to pieces. We're better off just sitting up here and doing nothing. Great, so obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is down to destruction, right? That can't be right, that's too much responsibility. I couldn't agree more. We couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person, let alone the fate of the world. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. A pristine blade perched. We and take it. Okay, oh! Sure, you take the oh. blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Do, do I not even have any choices? Cheater, cheated is running the show now. Okay. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right. We've got to be able to win eventually. And what if we never do? Don't be like that. I know things are hard right now, but we got to stay positive. If they're confident, then I'm confident. So, 
Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door, it's just that mirror again. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. This is cool, I like this. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Approach the mirror. Make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just move it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe the mirror clean. Oh. But, uh, that was a long drawn outside, yep. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Ah, eh, surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. <laughs> she can have the double arm, pl arm plates now? She's fucking Jensen from Human Revolution? <laughs> What's gonna happen? <laughs> you step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Uh-oh. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi. It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. Fun for her, maybe. I didn't like dying all over again. Thinking about dying makes us as good as dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. That's, that's true, actually, that's true. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. I never asked for this. She's loose, and she is coming for you. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? No, I'll come over there. Shit. She's coming for us and I'm out of ideas. Lunge wildly, just go for it. We're fighting her, obviously. We're going to appeal to her authority, puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. She <laughs> she has swords for arms and we don't. We're panicking. We're going to fight her and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. We can't. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. She wins by killing us, so right? So let's beat her to it. All of these ideas suck. Think of something better. I'm flirting. I'm fl it was the artifact. I'm flirting. Now, I've tolerated quite a bit from you, but this is a bridge too far. Please don't try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? I, I would like to. I'd rather not. It's not like she wants us anyway. <laughs> Is the voice of the cheater going to say she's not going to be faithful? I'm fine with it. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah! I know you want to kill you. Has anyone ever to told you how gorgeous you are? I just feel like I really get you. Like, I like you. Romantically even. Maybe we can hash this out over a date. How about you buy me dinner before impaling me to death? Give her <laughs> the <laughs> Give her the look. The look. <laughs> the look. <laughs> the look. We've all used it. Yeah, the look, yeah. yeah do you not know about the look? 
even I know about the look. You flash the princess the look. And oh. a rosy blush oh. rushes to the princess's cheeks as she breaks into a wide grin. Unbelievable. Are we going to have a dinner date and she's going to be picking up the wine glass with her blade arms and just like holding it up? <laughs> oh, is that how it is? Yeah, okay, I feel that. I like you too. Neat. We're in. Oh, be damned. This is actually going to work, isn't it? We're in. Still going to kill you. But now we can both enjoy a mutual romantic subtext to the murder. I, I will enjoy that, yeah. Or not. At least she likes us. I've never been liked before. Blush still glowing in her cheeks. The princess closes the distance between you, blades flashing. She skewers you. Romantically. Ow. What worthwhile romance doesn't hurt? At yeah! What matters is that she likes us. She's even said as much. He's back! Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead, 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 dead. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another... us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. I agree with this. As long as we keep moving. We'll win her heart eventually. Yeah! Oh, great. So it's going to get even more crowded. Even more deluded voices that think we might stand any kind of chance. Come on! Show me something new! We're fighting her, obviously. We're going to appeal to her authority. Puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. All these ideas suck. Think of something better. Hmm, okay. I want to... I like the authority one. We're panicking. Or think of something better. Let's do the authority. It doesn't work and she kills you again and again and again. Your memory blurs as your conscience leaps from life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to me. <laughs> she skewers you. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. Yeah. She skewers you. You'll have to be trickier than that. And then you skewer yourself. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh. That didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. He's back. Just panic. Flee. She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. It doesn't matter how many times this takes. We can't give up. Okay, let's go again. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. Conceal. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. See? We're getting better. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. None of this is working. Think. Think. She skewers you. We're getting close to something, can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time, that's all we need. She skewers you. And then everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 4, Mutually Assured Destruction. Okay. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin, and we'll take it from here. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Oh, what if we throw it out the window? Over my dead body. That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. 
but I can't say I mind anymore. All right, uh, before we get into to this run, thank you to Julia White for the resub. Or wait. One of those. Thank you, Julia, for the resub. Thank you, Spite Based Life Form, <laughs> uh, for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you, Blacklight, for gifting a sub to Biscuit Badger. Thank you, Globuzz, for the resub. Captain Jazz for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Captain Jazz. Wreck It Mikna for the resub. Hopefully that's right. Welcome. Uh, sorry, welcome back, resub. And thank you, Weevil Lover, also for the resub. Thank you very much. Let us continue. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. Eh, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. How many of the us are there now? The only thing we're going to manifest is finally ending up on top. Yeah. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them? Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Let's try the look again. The look too. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only it's more of a slide. We know. Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care. Just want to win. Fine. Make your way to the basement. Where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Is it an even bigger sword than usual? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it, though. Just you wait, and not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Is it a gun? Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, d do you want me to talk now? <laughs> well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. How does the, na the narrator, hmm. The princess's skin twists, oh. splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. Yeah. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering uh. against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room it's a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! She's gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> divine. There you are, chat. There you are. Yes. Behold the perfect woman. Do you think we can throw her out? Yeah. That looked painful. It really did, yeah. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. Stab. How stab. are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. Empty your minds. What just happened? It's so quiet. Is this her look? Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. You do not act, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but her blow f finishes its arc as you're already somewhere else. You're incredible. 
You too. Your weapons clash again and again, you and her entering a rhythm of free of thought and free of self. There's only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum volleys between them. An, en an endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of Volition. <gasps> Volition's here too? And her strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Approach the mirror. You do so. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. You've... you've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Oh, she's different this time! You are at the cabin. Approach her. When I found you in the long quiet alone, I was terrified. What if you had decided to let me wither? But your commitment now is final. Your ability to walk the path of mutual annihilation is vanished with your return. If you still wish to obliterate me, it will have to wait until I am complete. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Uh, we could do all of these last time, could we not? At least I think we could. Let's go top to bottom. Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. Ooh, two togethers. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, and what I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. Uh-oh. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself, and to know you. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? Whoa! I don't- I don't- I don't agree with that, no? Why is that explore? When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untracked. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. You, are, you've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. That's a good line. I like that. Okay, I don't want to... This is explore. Oh, man. Gamer sickness! I want to see all the dialogue! I need to see all the content! But I don't, I, I'm not doing that one, because I don't want to say I'm going to kill you, because I, I don't have any plans to do that. What do you want me to bring, bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. 
Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference what do you is want for you dinner? to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. It took Lily and I legitimately an hour to decide what to have for dinner yesterday. <laughs> and then what we ended up... What we ended up on, uh, like, ending with wasn't even in the first, like, three rounds of options. You, I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and you are something more than that, too. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side. For I would not know your absence. Hmm. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? Do I need to bring you? So she's gonna say more than you have, but not all of them again, right? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time. Okay, different. And I'm sorry for the burdens I place on you. I'm ready to go back. Attack the entity, destroy your body. I'm, I'm not doing either of those. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. Honestly, I don't even think we can attack her. We will meet again. In our... Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. Okay. Can I You're on a path turn around now? Wood. No, I can't. Huh. Sweet, I've always wanted to offer Monarch Viva la Revolution. That's the spirit. Here we go. You make your way up the short path. Uh let's take the blade. You take the blade from the top. Who's there? She sounds... Okay, uh, just checking in on you. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the There basement. you are. Are you here to kill me or something? What? No way. Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No, no, I uh, haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. All right, we haven't done I'm just here to talk yet. We haven't talked it out with her. Should we do that or admit to it? Yeah, you've caught me. Hmm. I don't think we've done I'm here to talk with having the knife. We've done this a lot. Uh... I want to do this, one of these two, I haven't decided yet. This one I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Drop it, tighten your grip. Let's drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. And then she psychically picks it up and stabs us. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Show her the look. Show her the look. 
Explore. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm, why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked enough. Um, there's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you, what do you have to say about that? Don't just tell her that. Why not? <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. But I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Deflect. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping the information a secret from me. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Remain silent. E oh, okay, I don't like any of these. I was hoping you'd tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. Uh, it's happened. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Do you know me, though? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch no less. Explore. A relationship. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> How would I get you out of here? What's your name? Oh, I didn't see that one before. Yeah, what's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Alright, let's kill her. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... I'll just chew my hand off. Well, we can always put that knife to good use. To pick the lock, right? Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She is. I'm sure of it. How long have you been down here? Who's feeding you? Too long. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Slay the princess. I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. I'm going to keep you locked away for d down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. Okay, that's new. We've done slay the princess, and we've done examine the chains, but not with the knife in the room. And then they threw the knife down. Hmm. I... This is a new one. Keep her locked away. That seems like a pretty good compromise. 
Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. She heard us. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. It's like uh, that that thing about the the AI and the basilisk or whatever. If you don't if you don't help the AI even before the AI is born, the AI will hate hate you forever after it uh, is born. Rocco's basilisk. That's the one. Yeah. It's it is it is bullshit. But yeah, uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. Is there going to be a montage of us, like, feeding her, brushing her hair? You're making a mistake. Nah, it's going to be fun. We'll watch movies. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. Picked up the knife, right? It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here... There will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Is it getting quieter? Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. No, we're sticking to the plan and locking her down here. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. Nope. It'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. No, we're, we're committed. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held... Chapter 2 is going to be voice of the indecisive. Okay. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Do it. Do it. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. And it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. Okay, should we tell her it's Paul? She's kind of dumb, huh? You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. <laughs> so all of it was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Ignore her and go to sleep. Do it. Ignore her. Maybe the banging and wailing will stop if you just don't pay attention to it. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped. It was Paul! And the door to the basement is ajar. Ew. It's lock broken and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You're welcome, babe. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin. Unable to do anything but witness her approach. It's my sleep paralysis demon. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. 
But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Mm, and yet you lie about the mirror, or you can't see it. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. No, the narrator takes over and makes me kill you. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end. Gills? Don't we? Uh, green around the gills is just a is just a phrase, chat. It does. It's not. It's. It means you don't look well. You look sick. You, you, people say that. It doesn't mean we we literally have gills. I mean, I guess we it could. Can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Jump scare. Oh, this continues. Chapter two: The Nightmare. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. A it's... terrible sense. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. He, capital. Shh. What if he hears us? Ah, paranoid, okay. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Was it always capitalized? Shit. I think you'll find yourselves very hard-pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. It's more than just deja vu. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Those are two very different. Let's okay. say for a moment. We heard this already, so I was thinking through. Here, I must, we couldn't trust either of you. This as one we did. As far as I'm concerned, we still can't. Okay. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? No comment. Well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And your solution is to send us back in there. Do you want us to slay the princess? Or do you want the princess to slay us? Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world, and the other doesn't. Anyways, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. Sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Oh, Jelly raided me! How's it going, Jelly? How's it going, Jelly Raiders? Stream over? I thought it was a 24-hour thing, or was it... Did you sign on something else, Jelly? How was Dead Space? Speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. Jelly beat Dead Space 2 with no deaths in 1 and go- Oh, well done! First try. First try. And that's only scratching the surface. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or have you found yourself in another world altogether? If it's the latter, what do you think happened? Okay, we heard this before. We heard this before. Why are they getting quiet again? Do you think the people there lived happily? If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? What do you want from us? I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. I yelled so loud, nerd scream. Okay, so I'm going to save it again because I want to I want to see if I turn around and leave, if it's gonna put me back at the choice that I can commit to turning around again. Hold on, let's talk about this. Just be quick about it. Okay. Just being around here in the end shut all my 
shut down all my organs. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? To quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. How can you possibly justify saying that? She's clearly something far, far worse. Who locked her in the basement? What is this place? Let's do the f top to bottom. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. What if I kill her and then take the knife back out? Hmm. To quote you from last time, she's a princess, how can you possibly justify saying that she's clearly something far, far worse? She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin, and you'll be fine. Who locked her in the basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement. And All I right, told I remember this one. I've told you everything. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with it. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less yeah. he isn't telling us everything he knows, we've, we've heard he this doesn't before. trust us, which means that we can't trust him. True. Stop talking yourself in neurotic circles and just get to the cabin already. No, you should do anything but that. We know what's waiting for us in that basement. Okay. Let's quick save it. And then let's go, that's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Ruin? Alright, I'm leaving. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Uh, uh, okay, sorry, dear. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least, she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Not even yourself. Thank you to uh, 7020 Olim for the resub. Thank you very much. Are you going to finish the game before you're going on break, or is this the, or is this the last stream? Uh, this is the only stream we're going to be doing with Slay the Princess, I think. So um, I'm willing to go a bit longer to, to see um, an ending, but I don't think we're going to be able to see every ending. Um, I think this would actually be a, a very difficult game to see all the roots and map it all out. Man, uh, we'll probably restarting again, maybe even uninstalling and reinstalling. Like, there might be some, some stuff that you get locked out of permanently? I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we should be able to see uh, a more conclusive ending today. I uh, thank you TurtleBoy803 for the resub. Thank you CyberPumpkin2023 for the resub. Uh, thank you DD4Falcon for the resub. And thank you T for the resub as well. And for anyone here who is not here at the beginning of uh, the stream, you can see the pin up top. Uh, we are doing a award show at the end of the year and you can nominate some categories um if you would like to do that so if someone could type uh the award thing in nightbot and nightbot will link it you can go through and follow the uh the questionnaire and you can nominate and we're going to begin voting on the 27th of november i believe 27th of november i'll be back and we're going to stream valhalla and we will start voting um for what is going to win uh so yeah if you're interested in that go for it Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. Oh, she's out. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why is the mirror here? Hold on. Oh, there are Why eyes in the, the... There was a door here last time. What? Is that because we're paranoid? It's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? So no more Baldur's Gate 3 streams? I don't have time to commit to Baldur's Gate 3 streams. Uh, I said we are going to do in November, but then I thought, what if we start playing it and it actually is a really good time we want to continue? And if we commit to playing Baldur's Gate 3, I will tell you right now, there is absolutely no way I'm finishing the Witcher 3 video. So, we can't do that, sorry. Uh, but, um, we will stream it eventually. We'll, we'll try it. We'll give it a try. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. 
But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. You didn't say anything about the mirror. Okay, let's let's explore the mirror. Maybe it's going to be different one time. Let's just approach the mirror without asking about it. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. It's a wall. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Did he make it go away? Yeah. Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. This whole cabin is different than I remember it being. Very different. I'm not the only one who sees her in the window, right? She knows that we're here. Calm down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. You haven't died, you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Do we want to take the blade? Yes. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it going to be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? Just be like Geralt when he's fighting the Kirin and just summon one out of your ass, Lamayo. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Enter the basement. Is she even gonna be there? You cross over the threshold, oh, and onto cool. a series of isolated steps, suspended in darkness. Oh, I like that. More eyes, too. You never mention the eyes! The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static. As if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. You promise? Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. How hard is it to throw a knife? I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Step off the stair. Step off into the void between the stairs. Continue down the stairs in silence. All right, stepping off the void is pretty good. Explore. How hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise, she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place, it'll be enough. I'm stepping off. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? I don't... I don't know. Falling off into infinite void seemed better than going down, going downstairs and dying. I'm just scared. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? <sighs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks, suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones, visible against the inky black of the basement, mark where the floor should be forming vague pathways. Oh, that's her for At sure. what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Reason. Excuse me. I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Right. 
I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Do you promise? Go left, go right, do nothing. Go back the way you came. You turn back to the stairs, only to find that they aren't there. Uh-oh. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. What the fuck? As the princess approaches, oh. your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think! What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Discombobulate. Heart. Lung. Chat with a rock if it had eyelashes. Oh, rock chan? Yeah. Your lungs pull in oh. a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want? And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? want to interrupt me some more. You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. This is neat. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. Oh, he's still saying it! She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Why won't you finish me off? What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. You're a lunatic, you know that, right? If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? We don't have to be enemies. So many. We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can even we can be friends even. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave, and I'm not going to try and kill you. So do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare okay let's get out of here leave together <laughs> fine you win i'll let you leave leave together L let's just leave why won't you finish me off because i don't want to and even if i did oh, i don't have to look at the way you're struggling to stay alive it's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now and i'm enjoying the show the princess leans forward Bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, shit! Make her stop! Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're back. Lungs, liver, what do you think of her, Lily? Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart. Kind of creepy? Lungs, cool, liver, but creepy, I was nerves, thinking. Yeah. Heart, lungs. She's heart, wearing nerves, gloves. Heart, lungs, oh. Yeah, I know. Oh, so I don't need to say anything. Like yeah, exactly. Liver, One moment, and then you're gone. Liver, nerves, Just heart, like lungs, liver, that. Nerves, Oh, oh, and there's the fear. Okay. I haven't even seen it. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, They've kind of been nerves, hanging around. So. Heart, 
lungs, is it your coffee tea? Nerves, it's tea. Heart, Thank you. Lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, it's all the hot because the dishwasher liver, nerves, just finished heart, heart, the dishwasher. Lungs, okay. liver, nerves, she pulls away. Liver, nerves, heart, but that wouldn't be very liver, fun, now what if? I've already lungs, done that. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, what happened after you killed me last time? Nerves, heart, I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. I don't think I can move without you. And dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. If you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being nice to me? I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? That's true, yep. Yeah. And you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. <laughs> I'm miserable. Alright, do you think a uh, paranoid voice could just keep this up for a whole lifetime? It's the wedding ceremony. Doing vows. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lung, liver, nerves. Keep it up, keep it up. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I just can't let you leave. And if I let you out, what then? Do we go our separate ways? I don't know what to do. Should we leave? Okay, let's let's leave together. I kind of want to do more options, but last time it, it, it ran out. What then? Do we go separate as a strike? Not. If you're what I need to leave this place, chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Don't worry, I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. Being around you is agony. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stick around. Oh, we both know that you don't have a say here, so you should just look on the bright side. The bright side is for you, but I'm positive you can find it if you look hard enough. <laughs> I'll just die then. If you want to work together, you can really shut off this whole organ shutting down situation. I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Okay. If you can't handle me at my organ shutting downness, then you don't deserve me at my best. All right. And if I refuse, what happens then? then we're stuck down here together. Until you change your mind. Static. And a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No! Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Only until your heart finally gives out. And then, when you die, I'll find myself somewhere new. And before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? This doesn't end until you let me out. And a lot can happen before then. I'm sure I can get creative. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, Slay the princess. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Fuck it, slay! Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks into her heart. We did it. We actually did it. <laughs> you actually went for it! Oh, you're going to regret this? I can be so much more terrible for you than I am now! Can she? Can she? We've already seen how she can change heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls to the ground, unmoving. Nerves. Oh. I, I can stop now, can't I? I can. Oh, finally. That was a cool sequence, I like that. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right? She was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. Is narrator gone? It means that you're stuck here. Forever. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. So she's just lying there, right? 
Right? Loot that body. Time passes. All right. Forever's going to end eventually, right? Right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though. Does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess that hasn't stopped us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. Yeah, and also, the entire world includes us, and we're not saved. You're right. I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Didn't value hers. Why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. It's not like it matters if I die, I'll just come back again. Yeah, it's true. Ah, uh, yes. The whole looping thing. How unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. You knew this was a possibility, didn't you? Paranoid voice is going through some character development, more character development in this chapter than most anime characters in a whole entire weeb game. He's becoming more focused and intelligent and picking up on more things. Like, what the hell? Of course I did. Though, I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Plenty. But it's all in your best interest. And the world's. And mine. She's dead and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? It just can. Look, this world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. Can you tell me your secrets now? We just asked that. No. Okay. How about how about now? Is it secret time? Still no. I'm going to wear you down eventually. You might as well spill those sweet, sweet secrets. Then we'll have something else to talk about. Hold on. Let me channel Todd Starfield. All right? Persuade pops up. All right. Scroll down to the hardest option. Here we go. Crack your knuckles. All right? Come on. Not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. I can feel it. I'm not. Either way, at least needling him is something to do. That's true, yeah. Secret? Come on! The narrator ignores you. You can't just describe yourself ignoring us. I can. I can. Yep. The narrator continues to ignore you. But I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys, what more do I need? I love you and all you guys. Oh, you could do a lot better than us. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. Called Slay the Princess. Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die of dehydration before forever happens? That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. Are you stuck here with us, or are you capable of going other places? I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. Feelings mutual. At least we're all being honest. I get it. You don't want us to die because you'd be lonely. How sweet. Unlike you, I'm not capable of being lonely. Don't believe you. Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us, and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. If I'm feeling lonely, I just narrate myself into not feeling lonely anymore. I just say the narrator was not feeling lonely anymore, and then I wasn't lonely. Take the, the blade from her body. Okay, that feels like it might wake her up again. No, let's do it. You remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? Throw the blade into the void. Eh. Oh no, what are you doing? You tighten your grip and fling the blade as hard as you can into the void. It's gone. 
Now you're really stuck here forever. There's no way out now. You mean, other than starving? Right, I mean, other than that. Yeah, let's just wait. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in, and the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time, but that doesn't stop it from passing. Nor does it stop your biology from unraveling. I wonder if this is only happening because we brought it up. The only things you know for certain are that it's long, and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. No, you really shouldn't have. But biology and time are immutable forces, and eventually, long before forever gets the chance to come, everything goes dark, and you die. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. The Wraith, Chapter 3. You're on a path in the wood. Ooh. Shit. This really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her, it doesn't matter if she kills us, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Okay, who's the new voice now? The Broken? Yes, so it does. Cold. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if we do what she asked us to last time? What if we just let her leave? Okay, so you've already been here. More than once even. Great. So you probably already know all about her, and all about the threat she poses to the world. Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it, yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. True. All death has done is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again and again. Is the fucking narrator cracking open a candy bar? The narrator of the stream is, yep. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already started to end. Her influence? I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job, alright? Wait, but we killed her. She died. We both died this time. Have we ever had a loop where we both died and continued? Have we ever had a loop where we killed her and it continued? Ooh. No, I don't think so. Great. Let's just hurry. The dagger one? We brought her back to life after that, though. We, we, um, we put our fingers on her neck and felt her pulse, and that brought her back to life. And at the end of it, uh... Oh, no, we both died at the end, didn't we? She still died. Yeah, you're right. She still died at the end of that one. Are you the same narrator we met on the other loops? You were quick to accept that quick to accept that we've been here before. Suspiciously quick. Yeah, suspicious. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. So you're from zero Okay. So, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. Oh, can we kill the narrator? They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. 
You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. We've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let we're going to let her out. Might as well do it now. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. Yeah, what's what if we don't, yeah. And she finds a way out on her own. So standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Only we don't have to see her. That's gotta be better, right? No, it's strictly worse. She can't get out without us though. And why is that? Because it's cowardly, for starters. And because the unknown is always worse than the known. But really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her. And whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. If you already managed to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. We've killed her and been killed by her, so might as well let her out now. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop. There's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't, and you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Chat, uh, narrator, don't bring that up in front, chat, they're gonna jump down your throat. No, 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 no. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. On second thought, Let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. You continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. Okay, I will. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. <laughs> crack open a cold one. Are you trying to use reverse psychology on me, or have you just given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Would you look at that? We won. Take it however you will. Into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is long and dark, a single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. There's no knife this time, is it because we threw it into the void? The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a- This is how- What? We're back. Hello? Hi? Turn that F into an F5, please. That's a, that's a good one, let's type that out. Turn that F into an F5, please. Should have peed while we were down. It's not an F, it's an F5. V very good. Plus two. Wow, now there's now there's 3250 people. Oh, we we can uh we can uh, duplicate viewers right now. What's going on?
What's going on? Anyway, it seems like everyone's back. Let us continue. Let's pretend there is a mirror at the end of the hallway and that right now we, can, we, we can't see behind it. What's there? What's behind it? If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying that at the end of the hallway there's just an opening again? He didn't say door, did he? No, I didn't say door. Because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. It's just like last time, isn't it? Only instead of a visible empty void, there's an invisible one. For all we know, she could be standing right there behind the mirror. For all we know, she's going to jump out at us and there's nothing we can do to stop her. There's no uh, faces in the windows this time. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. Certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. Approach the mirror. You slowly make your way towards the gaping maw that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. Step. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway, I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Why are you so... Is it recalcitrant? To, to uh, fucking accept that there's a fucking mirror there. Reluctant? I just fucked up a whole entire word, didn't I? Writer, by the way. Wipe the mirror clean. I hate that I know what's about to happen. Knowing makes it so much worse. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. Oh, that was a close one. All that stress and lead up for nothing. Hopelessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Oh, you did. Shit. Where is she? You feel something wrong and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Wait, she's the room! Your bones snap. The princess is coming from inside the house! Icy pain radiates up from the break. A deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. So even our feet are... dragon-y. Hmm... You killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom, but then you took my body away from me. So now, I'm going to take yours, and I'm going to walk it out of here. And you? You get to watch me do it, completely helpless, just like you left me. Okay. Maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out, and it's different. We might as well take it. Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it hurt. Then turn off the part of you that feels things. <laughs> oh, like it's that easy? It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. Except that pain hurts. Yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. Do we need to explain to you why pain is bad? You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. Look, we're even now. You killed me, and then I killed you. Water under the bridge, right? Yeah, you know what? That's a good, the good answer, yeah. I think you forgot something. Like the part where all this started when you left me to languish in a pit all by myself. Now I've become something so much worse. And it's all thanks to you. How big is she? 
Hmm. If I were you, I would just want to get it over with. You lost your chance to call the shots. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. Can we slay her again? Struggle! Okay, fine, just do it. I never want to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim in all this too, you know. Wouldn't possessing me against my will make it make you no better than me? You don't have to be evil. You don't have to do this. Do you need to take my body? Can't I just open the door for you? You locked me in a basement and then you killed me. Oh, we're past the point of compromise. I'm taking your body, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Pelvic- Oh, this is Pelvic! Where's Tate? Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon, so I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I, and the rest of the world, are out of luck too. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Is it? Is there any conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. It is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. True. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel... wrong. Is our foot fixed? So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body and boss it around like this. We were gonna let you out of here. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back up to the cabin. Were we? I was. Yeah, I was too, yeah. I know you were. <laughs> what reason are supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, jury, and executioner. You know what? We're gonna come back next loop, and this time we're gonna let her out, but this time for the right reasons. We weren't always like this. We are. Oh, oh shit. We weren't always like this. We. Oh, that, that was the whole thing. Okay. We don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here. Take it and throw us all into the basement. It's better than giving her what she wants. You wait there. Move. Now. Your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. It's not that bad. The pain feels good. You know you feel it too. 
Leave the cabin, throw your body into the abyss. Okay, I was gonna leave, but now she's being all difficult about it. Yeah, screw you. In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. We're putting in everything we have. You're not. You're thinking too much about how she's hurting us. You're thinking too much about your body. It's just a body. Death is just a body now. Let me do so many terrible things to you. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the next one we all go. One, one two, two, three. three. You throw everything you have against her and manage for one brief moment to overpower the princess's hold on your body. But that moment was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches and you collapse forward, the darkness swallowing you whole. Why do you hate me? Her thought slips through you, unheeded, as you fall, and fall, and fall. <laughs> we did it! We actually did it! Yes, we've really shown them all, haven't we? <laughs> This qualifies as saving, old but at least you didn't ruin it. What happens now? Yeah, what do you mean? I want to know what he thinks happens. Now. She's so pissed off. <laughs> Why? What do you know that you're not telling us? <laughs> Terminal velocity ceases and you feel something, a mass, a growth, torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. What? What's happening? Okay, we're going from pond to lake now? But you don't answer her before she's gone. You feel resistance underneath your feet, and once more, she's memory gone. returns. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Explore. Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's just going to be. Okay. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. You've been here before, and you always get scared. Oh, am I? Wait, am I talking to the hero? But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It's calling us, and not in a good way. You don't need to comfort them. <laughs> it's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. It's it's the end for you, but not for me. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so. We trust you. Can we trust you. Whatever makes you happy. Approach the mirror. Gaunter? You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. The silence is reassured. They're gone again. Uh, well, gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Oh, it's different this time. You've withered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. It looks like a fire, huh? Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction, a mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. That's where we stabbed her, right? All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. 
There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. Now that I got a better look, I would like to rescind my wooden from earlier in the poll. The more I see the princess on, on this path, the more I find myself revoking my earlier criticism of her. How can you stand to be such a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me, even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> That's pretty true. <laughs> it says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. <sighs> what do you think of this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others. So she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. You know that once the end- I'm, oh, that's to kill you. Do you know what happens when we leave- to what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Have you figured out what you will do when, when we finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Do you still not care what I bring you next? How many more vessels are you? Uh, let's do these two. I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Hmm. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. Yeah, it's, it's going so well. How many more vessels do I need? We will know when we near our destination. Okay, so what is she now? She was a pond last time. Oh! Okay, we always choose, I'm ready to go back. What if I just destroy my body? You raise your will to end your life, but it, as it buries into the space your body your, you body should be. Typo, your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your There's face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Oh, we can't do that. So I'm guessing we can't attack the entity either. You, your will cuts across the entity in front of you, nothing my happens. My burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Okay. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so what are we doing now? Um, oh, thanks for telling me what to do. Silently continue to the cabin. Hmm. Um, I kind of want to... Kill her and then take the knife out and see what happens. And I also want to um, see if we can actually leave and see. But more than any of that, I want to pee. So I'm gonna go. I'll be back soon. But before I go, thank you to uh, Fitzemi for the resub. Thank you, Mix Whiskey, Mix W Ski for the resub. Thank you again, Fitzemi. Thank you, Salt Shaker 8 for the resub. Sad Anime Man for the resub. Java Man Jojo for the resub and Tummy Fluff 
Also for the resub. Thank you very much. Be right back. Remind me of the vote and nominations. Oh yeah, well, while I'm gone, if you're not going to be gone for the break, um, let me let me type it. 2023 awards. That's all I have to do, right? Whoop. Okay. So there you go. So click on the link, and uh, you can pit, you can nominate things for the for the show that we're going to do at the end of the year. Voting begins at the end of the month when we play Valhalla. Right back. Alright, I'm back. Finn is feeling much better. Happy about that. Meeting with turns this game later to see more of it might be cool depending on how far we get, how far we don't get in this one stream. Uh, yes and no. On the one hand, yeah, I like to be thorough. But on the other hand, uh, this type of game would be nice to leave some of it unexplored for people to find out if they play it themselves. 
And it might be, and I'm not, I do mean might, it might be tedious to hunt down all the extra little bits and roots that you miss. Uh, we've already cut ourselves off permanently from a root, it seems like. So I don't know if we would have to reload that and do all the rest of them afterwards, I have, I have no idea. Alright, so let's sign, I'm gonna, okay, I want to see if we can actually leave. Is there, do some of the roots branch near the end? Like when, when we were doing the smitten and she was happy with us, is there a way to just leave with her? Instead of being like, hey, what do you want? No, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I wonder if that can continue somehow. Hmm. How did we get to that route? We stopped the narrator from killing her by, by resisting, and then she stabbed us, and then we came back, and then we spoke to her. That's how we did that one, right? Hmm. Hmm. It said if there's nothing worthwhile to get, then it then it doesn't let you choose it anymore. So let's see if we can even stab her and take and take the knife out of her and see what happens with that one. You make your way up. Take the blade. Enter the basement. Continue Good. down the stairs. You're still listening. Steal to your nerves and step forward. Slay the princess. Of course it is she's dead. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Of course it is. She's dead. Yes, exactly. It's over. Leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to... That's bullshit. Let me out of here. What's done is done. And there's no going back now. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Sorry, I was gone a bit longer than you. Did you specifically ask chat to answer you? Because otherwise I have a lot of chairs. time. Uh, don't time though, it's fine. Especially if there's a lot of them. When I ask those questions I don't want to answer, I just don't look at chat. It's fine. I don't- do we want to police chat at that level so it doesn't spoil people who are here reading chat? I don't know, maybe we have bad chat etiquette there for that. I don't know. I didn't look at chat after I um, after I asked that question. Psst. Hey. Okay, just gonna so this time we're going to we're going to kill right? ourselves, right? Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. We really Hmm, okay, maybe I'm not happy. Good. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us wouldn't we be dead? I was stupid. You are absolutely right, so correct. The reason I'm skipping through Using this the blade is because to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. This is the first path that we saw when we first started playing. So if you weren't here for the beginning of the stream, sorry, but we're we're skipping through it because we're trying to find different routes. Uh, you better rebear of this. I'm pretty upset if we die, die. Let's do this. If we die, die. You can yell at me all you want. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss. You, you. In great. Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. Really? We just stayed in that room even though there was a whole other room down here? The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. I thought we were biology. Why didn't we die? The end. Nice knowing you. Oh, she's gonna be really mad. Uh oh! All right, <laughs> she's You're on a gonna... path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe he's supposed to keep it that way. Oh, wait, that one's always here. Oh, God. Sorry, Mila's very upset downstairs. That's fine. Cold! It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Let's assume I'm telling the truth. Why should I listen to you? Those are two very different questions. Let's right, feel same back thing again. Here. Oh, we listened to you plenty. We slew the princess just like you asked us to. 
and then you locked us away in an empty void for eternity. So we slew ourselves, too. La Mayo. Well, if you killed yourself, then you weren't listening to me, because I would never want you to do that. Believe it or not, I care about you. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any con- What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We slew the princess, the world outside the cabin disappeared, we died, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess? It doesn't matter, because we didn't fail to slay her. And if she's really back, which I doubt, it'll be just as easy to do it again. But after that nasty trick you pulled on us, maybe she's not the only one around here in need of slaying. I'm in. Just stay focused, will you? Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. If anything, the world ended after I slew her. When I tried to leave, everything was gone. That's a good point. How do we know we didn't have things backwards? Maybe slaying the princess was what ended the world, not the other way around. <laughs> he's, he's hearing me. Yes. Maybe this whole thing was a trick to get us to end the world. And now we get to go through the whole charade again, wholly aware of what's waiting for us at the end. But that's assuming she's alive in that cabin. We did kill her, after all. You're going to find her in the cabin. If the princess had actually been slain, you wouldn't be here. And let me assure you, killing her will not end the world. I don't know what you think happened to you last time, but it's a load of nonsense. You'll get your happy ending. I promise. Well, that's exactly what we're afraid of. Really? Living happily ever after sounds that bad to you? Oh well, there's no use arguing over your masochism. The cabin awaits. Last time around, I stabbed her in the heart and she died. How can someone like that end the world? She just can. You'll have to trust that what I'm saying is true. Because if you don't, it's not true. Okay. Uh, he's going to say people. People. Yeah, okay. So that's all? Great. Now, if you don't like... Uh, turning around and leaving never does anything. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Wait, why is it letting me do that? She will lie. She, she yeah. won't be a problem. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table. Same there, line about the there's mirror. There's death. And there isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? Let's just go into the basement and find her body, so we can be done with this. Okay, I'm not. I'm not checking the mirror again. That the, wait, but it's not grayed out. Why is it not grayed out? I care less about that and more about whether we. I'm not lying to you. You walk up to the wall next to. It's really. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. Same it was there a second, time. and now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. Clearly, it's not even important enough to be acknowledged. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this whole cabin is different from Very last time. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous second life proposition. You haven't died. You certainly haven't already slain the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Uh, let's take the blade. Because why you not? take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Enter the basement. Ghost princess? The door to the basement groans open, 
revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Perception check. The room below is silent. Nobody's here. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Wait, what? Why didn't she stay dead on the other ones, then? Is it because we stayed around long enough that she rotted? She's in a different position. Hmm. Okay. She's definitely dead. Did it do- It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Aw, oh, she's cute! And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g g g ghost Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Okay, best way so far. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. So, how is she going to horribly murder us? Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. With what, a ghost knife? Wait and see how things play out. Hmm. Let's wait. I see you brought that annoying knife again. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it, or are you here for something else? See, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you about in the woods. This already happened. We killed her. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Do you know why you came back? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that, and, I, and it wouldn't be hard to, to do it again. I'm sorry. Is there any way I can make it up to you? The people who wanted you dead tricked me, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's team up. Oh, I like that one. Nobody tricked you. And the fact that the princess's spirit has risen from the dead should be more than enough evidence that she isn't exactly sweet and innocent. It's all been an act. She's pretending. I wouldn't say she's ever pretended to be sweet or innocent. She does have a little bit of an attitude, but I can't blame her. We did kill her, after all. I wouldn't be nice to my murderer if I was killed. The fact that you apparently botched the landing isn't on the me you're talking to, nor is it on any other version of me that you've encountered. Oh, so you do know there's other versions of you. You're using a lot of words to say a lot of nothing. Oh, I, I, you know what? I think cold might be my favorite. Cold is maybe cold then paranoid. Cold is so good. The enemy of my enemy. The princess circles you again, her icy fingertips trailing up your spine, sending shivers rippling across your flesh. So you think I'm an enemy? I don't want enemies. I don't want to fight. I just want to go home. Is that really so much to ask? And just where is home, I wonder? I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from some place far away. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. How specific. <laughs> and how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. 
which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the end of the entire world. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Do you know why you came back? Uh, oh my, there's so many app options. After I killed you, this cabin, I want to say it teleported. It wasn't in the woods anymore. Time stopped meaning anything, and I had to kill myself to escape. I guess I should tell you why I was sent to kill you. You were, were going to end the world. I was told you were going to end the world. Okay, clearly slaying you isn't going to work. What do you want? If you can go through walls, can't you just leave on your own? Okay, I'm... Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts. If you're dead, then there isn't really much for me to do, is there? I guess I'll get going. Leave her in the basement. Slay the prince. Now I want to go. I want to go. Let's let her out. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? What? Do you know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. Not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older and deeper. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Okay, we can never do them all. Okay, clearly saying using going to work. What do you want? I want what you took from me. Alive. A real life. I just, I just want, want to go home. Away way back, back to where I belong. This place won't let me leave. At least, not alone. I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place. Even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. Maybe we should just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything would be fine. Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different things. But it'd be dull anyway. It's more interesting if we make a choice. Yes. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. After all, you owe me. Oh, there it is. Absolutely not. Absolutely, yes. Is she asking if she can possess us. I'm in. She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. Mm, what do you mean? She responded to Hero earlier. <sighs> you won't like how things play out if you go down this path. I didn't like how things played out when I listened to you either, bud. If I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Would this be... this? Would, this would just be temporary, right? You'll leave once we're out of the cabin? What if I say no? Before I get anything, we need to talk about what happens after... After you leave this place, I was told you'd end the world. Sounds great. Let's the, let the princess possess you. All right. Uh, this would be temporary, right? If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, 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 long time. Do you promise? Don't much like the sound of that. It's crowded enough in here as is. There's always room for one more. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. That is a very dangerous train of thought. Yeah, let's do it. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. Chapter 3. Let's go slay the princess. This time featuring the princess as part of the crew. <laughs> Calling all the lies out that the other princess says. What, you're here to kill me? Don't trust her. I know all of her traits. <laughs> you're really not trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you... See you soon. 
She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Narrator, your hero collapsed. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? Oh, you can hear it! Oh, that's cool! And we get to see the other side of the basement, finally. So, it doesn't work like that for you? <laughs> Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. I love cold so much. All these shards of broken glass on the floor. Are they also supposed to be you? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... Oh, the mirror! It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. I'm clearly the same thing you are. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. Are you? So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a... memory than a person. This is pretty cool, Eichlis. That's rude. You're kind of like me, actually. Oh, oh. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously she's nowhere to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. Everybody. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just... Whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. Explore. Slay the princess? I can't think straight. There's too much noise. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time, and everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine if you listen to her. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Yes. Wouldn't that be nice? There's only one way to find out. Leave the basement. <sighs> Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? Oh, will it be the end of this world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, he just outside doesn't, of the world. He doesn't want the game to end, and if you let the princess out, then that's it? Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Okay, Yusuke. Against the backdrop of the inane Cold conjecture scare. of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Oh, is the narrator being Sundari? Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. 
Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you. And I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. Okay. The Raider does not resent the rest of us that are in here? It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. <laughs> this body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Trudge forward. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. Are we in the void again? You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? <laughs> it's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Open the door. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Leah! Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or... We never be in part of the world. Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. I'm out. You actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, killer. Don't mention it. And then she killed us. I think. This was where I meant to be. You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's returns. Gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. I, I, it's, it's going to be okay. We didn't do this one last I time. I would have kept them in the dark if I were you. Oh, ho, ho. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. The call out! Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence is reached forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Oh, super withered. You've unraveled. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. Have we ever gotten here without killing her? Yes. The the one that loved us and wanted us to be happy. Yes, that's the only one. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something, but nothing cannot exist on its own, and because of that, nothing can't exist. Had that thought as well, yeah. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is vaporous. 
she is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. I feel like we're building a waifu. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. We do this often here. Do you know what's going to happen when you awake? If I did, I would already be awake. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? I have, have the, have the vessels had one? No, their minds are empty, existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does, but I don't. But I don't know why but I know this for a fact he does I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him he does and when I find him you and I are finally going to have answers he does and when I find him I'm going to kill him he does but you're going to keep that to yourself oh he does he does he does I'm going to have answers do not look to one who fears me for your truth the only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves oh she's so wise how many more vessels do I need to bring you one. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. An ocean. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. This is the last stage for your completion that I'm not go going back here. I'm just going to stay here. What? You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. Okay. Please don't stop the game again. Wait. There is no waiting forever. Yeah, there is no waiting forever. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. In my ghost suit. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay, so what's a good one that we could do for the last one? Is there another path not killing her? You're on a path in the woods. Hmm, hmm. Silently continue to the cabin. You make your way up the sh Okay, what if I don't take the knife? What if I go down, I don't take the knife, and I try and free her again? I don't want to kill her. Is there any way I can make sure I don't kill her? Not taking the knife is probably a surefire way to not kill her. Let's do that. The door to the basement. Uh, I'm here to save you. Yeah, let's go. I'm here to save you. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. Uh-oh. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot right I can't believe you here. I've been waiting for something this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. Hold on. Let's talk a bit first. I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. You're only making this more difficult. Okay. Uh, if there's any key, do you have any ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying. If not, so at least find you some brick three. Okay, is she going to eat her arm again? Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement. Okay, so we saw this before. So there's something new here, too. Um... Try the door. Okay, return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier okay. if you... There we go. Save the princess. <sighs> Fine. 
approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. Well, I don't want to kill her. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, there's no going back now. God damn it! With you to the end. You bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart. But she's fast. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? Together. I don't know what's come over you. But if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? If I think it, you will. She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. We didn't kill her. The witch. All right, I'm in. You know what? Maybe we stumbled into a good path You're here. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Is a witch. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. since the deja vu wait hasn't this already happened okay no but i died what am i doing here she's going to kill me again but i already sued the princess sure she also killed me but i definitely got her why am i here again? wait did we get her i can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you people don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the very first time okay who's here with us if he doesn't remember what happened then Maybe it's best to keep it that way. It's cold here because we died? Brilliant. We oh. keep our cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. Opportunist. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Nah, he's lying. He Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. Yeah, let's proceed to the cabin. All right, let's go. Do, 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 a warning before you go in. Yeah, front. she's going to lie. She blah, will blah, blah, lie. Blah, yeah. She will cheat. Don't okay. worry. You can trust us to get the job done. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. <laughs> The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, okay, let's go approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next- What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. Okay, what's opportunist gonna say about Reach the mirror? Reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. Oh, I hope nothing. you know how ridiculous you are. Right, I am not taking the blade. No blade. I hope you know what you're getting us into. No blade. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. Definitely. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. 
It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. Okay, are you ever not going to say that, or something like it? Her voice skitters up from below. Oh no, she's a spider. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down, don't be scared. I probably won't bite. A witch spider? I'm not nasty. Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. <laughs> Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? That too, that's part of it. You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Well, honestly, that, that is a more accurate title, though. What to do with the princess, yep. Thank you. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room. Uh, uh, here I thought we were going to have a... Okay. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. I thought she was the witch. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? You made a comment back in the woods about having been here before. Now she's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh no. You've already been here, haven't you? Yeah. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? <laughs> Poor it's deductive reasoning. <laughs> well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. I'm just glad we could put all this behind. Okay, are you uh, vo voice of sarcasm? What what are you? Is it all behind us? Is it? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Yeah, let's chat her up a don't bit. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. I'm sorry about last time. Look, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made mistakes. I get the sense that you're not... I'm a bit of an empath. And I'm getting the sense that you're not happy with me. Just empath things. I'm unarmed. That's a gesture of goodwill. So why don't we talk talk it out? Look, I know, I know, things got messy last time, but I think there's something bigger than both of us at work. We should team up. Can't you get out of those chains on your own? Those chains didn't stop you last time. Why do I have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out of here? I don't trust you, not enough to free you, and definitely not enough to get close to you. I'm leaving. Bye. Leave her in the basement. All right. So, do we want to lead with mistakes were made, or do we want to lead with I don't have a knife? And she, she's probably going to be like, yeah, but there's probably one behind you or something. Look, I'm sorry about last time. Ooh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Hey, who killed who? Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Okay, I will. I get the sense you're not happy with me. So, we're at an impasse. Neither of us are going to get anywhere if we can't trust each other. Unless unless you want to fight, but I don't want to fight. 
Uh, where's the one about I don't have a weapon? Is that still there? Let's do this one. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? Alright. I suppose I could... team up? I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. Oh, instead of mutual destruction. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. I get the sense you're not happy with me. Uh, can't you get out of the chains on your own? Yeah. I didn't bring my blade down, remember? How am I supposed to get you out of those chains? Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. What do you need, then? The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Oh, okay. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. <laughs> she knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. <laughs> this is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. I get the sense you're not happy with me. Okay, let's leave. Leave with the princess. Yes, let's. Let's go. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Yeah, it's true. Oh, no, we can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. W why? We're the ones who attacked her last time. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. Yeah. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together. Together. That doesn't mean we have to trust her. Yes, we do. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. Yeah, exactly. We're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. What do you mean? I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. Explore. You first. Now nah, step on stairs. That's right. You're the one who's going first. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you watching everything. Single thing you do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put on a show. Enjoy. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Dude, strut, strut, strut. I'm going up these stairs hips first. Here we go. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels, perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake, because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. Maybe her, her name is Slay, and th the title is missing a comma. Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's the smarter idea. She can't sneak in an attack if we're facing her. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. But... The princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and, in no time at all, upstairs of the cabin is within reach. This is taking a while. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. Ah, oh, shit. You're not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory, are you? Why did you just say that? I think we know why. You feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Oh, but no! Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots, until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. All right, let's just go again. You know what? I'll say it. <laughs> that sucks. I don't <laughs> like having a broken back. We were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? 
Lol said the princess, Lama yo- It's what I would have done. No! Have you considered not being like that? Of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralysed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. Okay, is she gonna take care of us? You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. I can't get up. You broke my back. What the hell was that for? I was trying to help you out of here. We were we were never going up those stairs, were we? We could have gotten out of here if we just trusted each other. Why would I ever trust you? Your hands have spilled my blood. And knowing that, you should never have trusted me either. You should have known I would never walk hand in hand with a loathsome thing like you. The loathsome... By our very natures, only one of us could make it upstairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned, where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab her in the back. <laughs> and then you'd say something like, wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then, you would have done it, and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. There's just one problem with that. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? I thought this whole thing was ironclad, but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? The princess's body twitches as she tries to get up. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's as bad as us. Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so... so funny? She eyes you with intensity, silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. How the turntables have turned! Well, I guess we're gonna have a long talk and bond, and when we go through another cycle, we'll be besties. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Wait, are we both just... stuck here? Certainly seems that way. What a way to go. But look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. Is that really what's going to happen then? Hello? Are you still there? He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel... cold. Oh, this was a success! Well, I, well, actually, I don't really know if I'm judging success right in this game, but okay. But you don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's returns. Cool. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. You need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But it isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze, and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in the shadow, just beyond the reflection. Bird? Are you me? I think you know what I am. Ooh. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image of the glass in two. Then another crack forms, and another and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. And then another crack forms, and another and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. So you're the narrator, I was wondering if I, I'd ever get to see you. Who are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away and stop asking questions? Oh, there's a lot here. Um, I want to say, um, I have so many questions for you. Then ask them, and make it quick. I won't last for long now that you can see me. Ooh, God. Uh, what are you? Are you someone like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. I am an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me.
Does it hurt when pieces you break off like that? So we can only ask a certain amount of questions, it looks like, because the, the shards are going. What is this place? Where are we? What is the princess? Did you make her too? Let's do that one. She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Why would you want me to destroy the concept of transformation? Do you have anything to say for yourself for all of this hubris? After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Do you know that things won't just be worse if I destroy her? What would it be like to live in a world without her? So you're the so you're the narrator. I was wondering if we'd ever, I'd ever get to see you. Others like you. You've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Does it hurt when pieces break off? Oh man. Oh, there's so much stuff. The people out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do to them? Yeah. Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. Why would you want me to destroy the concept of transformation? That seems like a good, a good one to ask. Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. Everything has to die, bro. If I destroy her, how is that an existence any better than death, or even different from death at all? Honestly, it feels worse. Let's see that one. When I broke the cycle, I made sure that the tear was rough. You carry a part of what should be her, and she carries a part of what should be you. Things won't be as they are now, but they won't be nothing, either. Besides, anything is better than oblivion. In the end, nobody wants to leave. Is anything? Is it though? This question keeps me up at night. I think about this a lot. And honestly, I don't know the answer. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? You're delusional. Do you have anything to say? Okay, these do not seem good. After everything you've done, uh, what would you like to live in the world without her? So you're the narrator. Others like you. Does it hurt when pieces break off? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Every... Mm, yeah, that one. We've already crossed the point of no return. Okay, wasted question. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. What's one near the bottom? Maybe there's one down there that's good. Who cares about dying? I've died plenty of times. Why would you want to rid the world of death? You're called this Yeah, that's a good one. What if neither of us leave this place? Does that work? Could we just stay here together and leave the people out there alone? Of all things, why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of, of, of soggy bread? That's a good one. Are you asking me to spend my final moments psychoanalyzing you? Oh, it was me! She wound up a princess because you wanted her to be a princess. As to why... Maybe you just like princesses. Maybe she needed to be beautiful, important, above you, but on a level you could still approach. A herald of things to come. I don't know. Gods are supposed to be beyond comprehension. I really shouldn't try and anthropomorphize you like this. Oh, so I'm a god now. Oh, this is going so well. Why would you want to rid the world of death? If you need to ask that question, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. Okay. That seems like to just uh, 
run out of questions, just fast forward. Who cares about dying? I'm pretty sure death is good, actually. Important, even. What if neither of uh, I wouldn't say it's good. You've called this place a construct. What is it supposed to do? Let's do it that one. It was supposed to keep the two of you trapped here until the job was done. And it was supposed to guide your hand to help you see things through. The construct you're in exists in every world at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both you and her into a new world. But you're waking up to your true nature now. It won't be able to work like that anymore. Uh oh. Alright, last question. Death of the author, run out of questions. I think you're out of time, I'm not going to slay her, and I want you to know that before you die for good. Oh, why so evil? Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. Lie, rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all this. Say nothing and watch him end. I mean, he was kind of a dick. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. Bring the witch to her. Achievement. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. So we're two sides of the same entity. Okay. That makes sense, actually. I got that kind of feeling before. I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I've missed you too. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Uh, I've missed you too. She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response and then patiently waits for you to continue. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. I'm long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player. Always reacting <laughs> and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Yep. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitude. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. If I let you out, an entire world ends for good. I can't do that. I, I don't think it does. I just think it ends eventually. But maybe I'm misreading what's happening in the story right now. My read on what's happening in the story right now is that basically we're God and we're having an existential midlife, mid-God crisis, or we're at the end of a reality and we're tr and we're starting a new one, and basically we're asking us ourselves a question: Do we, is death really an essential part of existence? And we've kind of spun this whole entire thing to figure that out if we want to continue with it or not. That's that's how I'm um, like viewing this. So I don't think she's destroying everything. When he says everyone will die, I think he left out, you know, a very important word, which is eventually. <laughs> Everyone's gonna die if you let her out. Oh, eventually, uh, you know, of na of natural causes, because you know she's death. You know, like um, that's that's what I think is going on. But maybe I'm uh, 
I'm not, um, I I'm not reading the story properly. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go. Slay the princess. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. Slay the princess. There has, there has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. If you were to always to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led me to this moment? Uh, where's the one? Don't you get a say in this? What do you want to do? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. There's so many stories left unfinished, can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end. Pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions I need answers before I, I can make a choice. Is she just gonna say no? My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. Okay, yeah, so that was a no. In 24 words. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Uh... A trick behind your back and a trick behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each other, but forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't, for each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. Is this when our backs are broken and now we're seeing it from her perspective? But forever is not forever. I move and you react and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? Chat, how does the VN have a boss battle? If there are no endings, there are no limits. If there are no limits, then there's no difference between growth and decay. I have already come so far. What more is there left for me to see? With time, we could have, we could have been better. I won't engage with violence. <laughs> Remain silent. I don't agree with this, but it sounds like the best one. With time, we could have been better. And there is always time. Then let's be better. A shiver passes through you as unseen fingers, cold as the grave, dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them, and yet they do not return it. This was the possession? I offer you a path to your redemption. And you take my hand in yours. You felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. But with redemption, there can, there can be no sin. Sacrifice everything for you again. I won't engage with violence. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with you now. I just don't know how. Stop the fight early and surrender. What? I like that one. And without contrast, there can be nothing at all. Is the game too loud? Do you want me to turn down a bit? Oh. The spirits, with violence you strained me, and with violence I sought to twist your flesh back into mine. Okay, there we go. Is it better now? What force between choosing your death and forfeiting your body? You chose agency, but agency requires action, and action requires endless tapestry of events. What? 
Can you say with certainty what shape a world without you will take? I don't want that world to come to pass. You didn't give me much choice. I won't engage with violence. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. Okay. You really didn't give us much choice, actually, yeah. I like the first one again. I know what I am, but I do not know what I am not. If a world without me is so unknown, then how can you be so sure you want to create it? A boundless torrent of blades cuts you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts are not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead and alive and dead all at once. You learn to put yourself away and to follow the flow of reality. And you used it to rise above me. You died countless steely deaths and you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. Unjust impossibilities pushed you to become something you would never have been without them. If you haven't snatched that body away, we, we would have killed each other. We were self-destructive. It felt so good to finally win, even if it was going to cost me my life. Even if the journey was agony, the end gave the struggle meaning. I won't engage with violence. I get it, there's no need. Remain silent. Again, the first one. Were we self-destructive? Or did the beauty of our dance reach beyond the shadow of death? It was lethality that made us what we were. Your lover tried to stake into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But you'd love to watch me leave. Love melted into skepticism. <laughs> and you pulled back layer after layer after layer. Until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. You sought the truth, then. Will you hide from it, now that it is within your grasp? I have no desire to hide, but the truth can be made better. If destroying you is what it, that takes, so be it. I don't want to hide from the truth. I won't engage with violence. I get it. Okay. One of these two. We, let's go the first one again. I am so deeply woven into the threads of this reality that I cannot imagine it without me. Perhaps there is a better world to build. But you cannot know until you see it. Are you so sure in your blind optimism that you would shatter all of creation? You are unmovable. Is it by the design of our conflict that I cannot win? Or are you just that fervent in how you cling to delusion? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. together. Explore. It's easy to believe in things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? Okay, I'm ready to leave, but how... I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? I never want to fight you, but how do... But how do we leave? Alright, now we're back here again. Slay the princess, slay the princess. I won't kill you, but I won't let you... F I won't let you free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing my- What? What? It, my dude, what is your perspective? If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. What do you think happens if we leave here? This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all, weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. Okay, so it's 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 two two halves of a god that together are a couple, and they're remaking the universe, 
and they're just deciding what this next universe is going to be like. So it is kind of like, and they can't decide, and it's gone on for too long, so it's kind of like the god equivalent of a couple trying to decide what to order for dinner. Okay, alright, I get it now. Alright. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. I don't know. Alright. I'm ready to leave. Okay. But what do you want? You know what? I, I can't order what you want, but I'm not gonna let you go hungry. We'll both get each of our own foods. <laughs> You've done everything you can to make me understand what you want to have for dinner tonight, but you keep dismissing what I want. If you think you can convince me to get something that you want, you have to listen to what I want to eat for dinner tonight. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? Oh shit, we just go. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. Does it sound okay still, by the way? Free yourself. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. You feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for her, is, is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not I yield. I love you. Take her hand. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. You are free, and she is with you. It's magnificent. Grass is growing. Nature is healing. Streams are gone. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality, something that simply is. One second chat. Alright, sorry, bad moment for that, but uh, apparently Mila is in trouble, so you might hear some tantruming going on. Alright, sorry, there are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality, something that simply is. Explore, what happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you always have been, and you, just as you always will always be. Always will be? Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, and the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. There are no, no endings, only new beginnings. Slay the princess. order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by pressing H. I have it recorded. Um, w listen to the OST in a certain order, or what? Hmm, okay. That was pretty cool. Alright, so that went uh, places I didn't think it was going to go. Um, I kind of feel like my read on what was happening is actually true, right? It, it feels like it's it's definitely like a, a godlike entity that is uh, two pieces, yin and yang, that, that sort of thing. Um, and they're basically having a, a debate. Maybe it's even one entity that split itself into two pieces. And they're basically having this debate through this system, Slay the Princess style, um, of deciding what the, the next universe they're making is going to be like, right? Um, it, it feels like it fits. I don't think it fits with everything, but that's definitely what it feels like. And at the end, it's like, you are the god that has more authority than the other one, I guess. Or whatever, whatever the part that has more authority. And, um, you are deciding if, if death is going to be a part of the next universe, I guess. 
I don't know. I, may, I would like to see the other ending to see. Maybe it can go in different places. Maybe that's not the only way it can go at the end. But that's how it feels to me right now. Um, you forgot the role that the crow played. Well, isn't the crow kind of like a like a mediator or something that was that is arguing for or representing an argument that they probably that the dispute was on your side and she didn't have her own though. Hmm. I don't know. The crow supposedly started the whole mess. Well, what if the crow is just like an intrusive god thought that came in and was like, you know what, maybe we could do it better. There's a lot of suffering in our universes, honey. Don't you think that we could possibly have them have a universe without that level of suffering? And then that caused like a, a schism between the two, within the god, and that's what this was all about. Do we want the death or not? I don't know. I feel like that fits with a lot of, um, a lot of what was going on there. The debate at the end. The debate at the end seemed very much... What's it? What's a universe without death? The narrator seemed mortal, but it could have been God's perspective on what a mortal would feel. Mm. How is the mortal there for each one then? Is it a time rewind? I don't know. Possibly. It could just be. Oh, does that change anything? Whether it's a mortal or whether it's it's uh, something that came from within the godlike entity, does that does that matter? The the effect is still the same, right? It still led to the same result. That doesn't change the read on what's happening, just why it started. He was immortal in one of his replies. He he would say that. What what even is mortal though in this in this uh, sense? Because it felt like we were in a a nonsense land. Maybe the thought itself is is fleeting, and it's that entity that was created within the god complex is uh, is mortal. Where's the first ending you got at the beginning of the playthrough? Fit into all of this? Yeah, that's true too. Maybe that's a universe without a god. No death, but no god. You're just stuck there forever, and you don't... It got to run without any interference or anything like that? Hmm. What about the voices? What are they? The different aspects of the argument and the different parts of, of, the, of the, uh, the entity that is that are bringing different thoughts to the table. That's what I think. It's, I, I feel like the whole experience is trying to make something that is inherently intangible, tangible. So there's going to be a lot of... And I like that a lot, a, a lot about it. So it, there's going to be a lot of things that are like, hmm, how does that work? A lot of metaphor. A lot of this represents something else sort of thing. I wonder if there's anything there too about the princess represents death and you're trying to slay her. You're trying to kill death. So you're trying to give death a death. Well, you can't give death a death without death. So therefore you can't kill her. Because for her to die, she needs to be there to like lock the death in. And if she's not there, then death doesn't exist. Therefore, you know what I mean? That's, uh, that's kind of weird. Will you check the other endings? They're all very short. Um, we're almost at time. Is there a route that someone would like me to see? And can I go new game and see it? Or do I have to go load game and do it? Does that make you the god of death then too? Um, kind of. Uh, in most most thoughts of uh, the two biggest gods, 
Um, well, it, 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 no, I can't say that. It changes. Um, but usually the two, the duality of the gods is, is something to do, that humans look at, is, uh, is, is the one that brings creation and the one that brings destruction. Which, arguably, is just because we just live on a planet that has a... <laughs> That has a, a day and night cycle, um, so we just see duality everywhere. Um, the sun and the moon, day and night, that sort of thing. Um, I would say that a lot of how we view reality has a lot to do with our environment. Um, so that would be the two aspects of of, uh, of this uh, like higher being. Maybe God is the wrong kind of kind of one. Descriptor. Check the pin, please, Joe. Important Jet Sayer related announcement. We have enabled people to edit their nominations up until the end of the nomination period. Okay, cool. Reviews if you want to read them. Okay, do we want to read reviews or do we want to read or do we, or do we want to do um someone said thorn root? I can fix her. I don't know, man. I like this. I feel like chat is a uh, is a little more down on it than I am. There are some big fans in the chat, though. So maybe, maybe, maybe I haven't been reading the chat much throughout this this uh, this uh, time. So maybe there's a, a little bit of conflict there. But I really like this. I feel like some people in chat are down on it more than I am. But maybe there's some uh, mega fans here. And it's gotten a little obnoxious. I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to read chat back. And let's be real. I'm not going to do that. Um, I enjoyed it. I don't know if I fully understand it, but I feel like my 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 interpretation of what what how I'm looking at the ending. It feels like a lot of it fits. So I like my interpretation. So hmm, I don't know. Paul, I think you're reading bad bad messages. Maybe. Yeah. It seems like pe most people are positive. Okay. Okay, I'm not really seeing too many interesting reviews as I scroll through here. Kasoro is on here. Is that the real Kasoro? That looks like it's the same one. Hey, Kasoro. Slay the Princess is a good mystery VN. I've enjoyed most of my way through it. Um, my first impression was, is trying to be Stanley Parable too hard? And I'm very glad to say this impression did not last. The game reveals its own identity fairly quickly, and has a lot of neat details that allow the player to roughly guess the shape of things before they're revealed in the final act's exposition dump mandatory for all mystery VNs. The prose is surprisingly good. Reading Slay the Princess still didn't feel still still didn't feel like reading a book but it didn't feel like reading a comic book either which is extremely rare for video games <laughs> sadly the ending didn't land for me and i don't entirely understand the decision to force the ending as early as the game does it did the author feel the concept wears thin this quickly um i gotta say i do feel like some of the repetition was wearing thin with me and i wonder if if they should have um allowed you to skip further to some things sometimes it wouldn't let you skip and it was something we had seen before but you couldn't skip it because there was a new voice along with you that would add something to it so I think maybe the format could have been cleaned up a little bit that you get back into the cabin faster I don't know um, is it meant to facilitate multiple playthroughs? Is it so most people who play this game have slightly different experiences from one another? I really did like, so this is me, I really did like that all the entities that you, that you built into her, um, all came back and you saw something from their perspective. That was cool. I liked that a lot. Um, anyway, I will never know, but I, I would really rather see all of the game has to offer as it is pretty good quality, as has pr pretty good quality of life features for it within a single playthrough. Uh, the themes are the ending brings up didn't resonate with me as much, and while, like I said, a lot of details felt well integrated into the rest of the game in a way that allows the player to guess at what's going on, the mechanics of the interactions first and foremost, a lot of it felt tacked on as a mandatory explanation to allow the concept of the game to exist, everything to do with the narrator as an example. The art is stunningly good, and the game utilizes 
it to the utmost degree. I love the art style, I love the pencil wiggles, I love the parallax effect as you move the mouse around. I really didn't like the princess's VA for most of the game, except for some of the post chapter two scenes, uh, but the male VA did a really good job. Really, I thought both of them did a really good job, especially considering the amount of work it must have taken. I recommend this game to anyone who enjoys a mystery VN or generally unconventional experiences rare games have to offer. And that was four out of five, I think, from Kusoro. What is the site? I feel like I've seen this site before. Who's Kusaro? Kusaro is someone who is on on Jads. Uh, they made the intro music that we that we use sometimes. If you ever heard me play music during fan art, they made that music. They're also a mod on Jads. Been around for a while. Is this a game? Yes, this is a game. I think yeah. It's not a game. Eh, is it? it? Feels kind of gamey. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a game. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Who did I say thank you to last time? Was it Javelman Jojo? I think it was. Did I say thank you to Tummy Fluff? I'm not sure. Thank you, Tummy Fluff. Thank you, Ali Larsum. Definitely didn't say thank you to Ali Larsum for the resub. Thank you again, Tummy Fluff. Thank you, Slowly FG for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Doubt Degree for the resub. Awesome Mies for the resub. Dr. Ender Pavel 12 huh, uh, for the resub. Congrats, Joe. You finally ordered the salad. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, Endo Velicus Flare for the resub as well. And. Uh, do you like this? Who is your favorite princess? The ones you saw? I think probably the ghost. I like the ghost. The ghost is pretty good. All right. Uh, do you want me to do? Okay. What what am I what am I doing for um, Thorn? Guide me through it. So I load. What am I loading? Load what? Or am I just going new game? New game. Which autosave? Which one? I don't think there is a witch autosave. Why is it lagging as I move the mouse around? Get to witch again, take knife, give knife. Okay, so we do that by going new game, right? And we uh, silently continue the cabin. And we... Don't take the knife, right? Which was the one where we stabbed her after letting her out? Okay. Good. Okay, so what are we doing? Save the princess? Slay the princess? We save, and then we, we fight, and then we slay, okay. right? Okay, now we go to the cabin, and we we take the knife. Let's save it. Quick save. All right, so we take the knife. Take knife. Give her the knife. Okay. You we take, take the, the knife. blade from the shelf. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That's not actually a bad idea. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling. Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognize. That's not fair. How would she know that? So we've dropped the pretenses. Huh. <laughs> Good. She's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh no! You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How do you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. Do you remember us then? Do you remember 
Last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. Okay, did I just get tricked to going back to the cat girl version? All this is it, Ibaha? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Oh, thank you for the bits here, Vault. That's a lot of bits. 2,048 bits. Thank you so much. Have a productive break. I really will. Thank you, Zero Vault. Let's chatter up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things... Okay, I'm sorry about last time. Look, I made a mistake. We want to make mistakes right. Don't worry. The blade isn't for you or not or if not for killing you. We've got to get you out somehow, right? I get the sense you're not happy with me. Look, I know things got messy last time. Uh, get out of the chains. I don't want to hurt you, but clearly there's some broken trust. Take this gesture of my good goodwill. Give her the blade. You... You can't be serious. Uh, now, hold on. We should put this to a vote. The blade is one of our most valuable assets. We can't just give it to her. What if she uses it to kill us? I vote no. As do I. I, uh, abstain? What? Are you me? You abstain. She's going to kill us if we give it to her. This isn't a democracy. <laughs> Good thing this isn't a democracy. We're giving her the blade. You're going to get everyone killed. You know that, right? But of course you you toss the blade at the princess's feet. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. And then she stabs herself. I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? You hear a clanging of metal against the dirt floor, and the chains fall from the princess's wrist. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart. It's a shame we just gave her a weapon, because if I were her, I'd use it on us right now. Luckily for us, you're not her. Oh, we sure think alike, though. I can promise you that. Whatever you say next, you better make it count. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. What do you think happens now? I think this is the part when you stab me. That's up to you. It's why I gave you the blade. I chose last time and I regret it, so now it's your time to choose. It's time to choose. We, we're both scared and we're both hurting. If one of us doesn't make a change, we'll probably kill each other forever. Do you want that? I don't. We can be better than this. You're beautiful. I actually, I want to actually save you and this feels like the only way to do it. You're like someone I know. You're probably going to kill me. Remain silent. Alright, so someone, chat said you're beautiful. She calls back clearly caught off guard by whatever nonsense you just said to her. I thought it was nice. Whether it's nice depends on if we meant it. We didn't mean it. Did we? If you were lying, we'd all know. But unfortunately, you weren't lying. What? What do you mean by that? What kind of game are you playing? It's not a... The look of surprise that momentarily softened her features vanishes as she steals her nerves. And then, she buries the blade in your heart. La Mayo. What? No. No, come on, that's not right. I told you. I told you this is what she was going to do. Glee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. <laughs> I did it. I got you. You, you. The princess seems to tremble. Her smile fading quickly, replaced with concern. Her nervous eyes brim with tears. Why? Why did you let me do this? But you don't have the strength to respond, nor do you have the time. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 3, The Thorn You're on a path in the woods. I told you oh, not to give her the blade. I told you... It I can't believe she actually stabbed us. I love the bickering. I told you uh, it would come around to bite us. I voted against it. Yeah, we know. You already got your I told you so's in while we were bleeding out. I just wanted to make sure that everyone here knows that I was and am on the right side of that argument. 
Oh, you're far from being yeah! on the right side of anything. You're fixated on the past, whereas what you should be is fixated on the future. Ho oh, ho, a visionary. I like it. Tell me more. Gladly, my dear fellow. By cruelly turning on the princess in her moment of vulnerability, we made ourselves an enemy. We, but we turned by her on. mastering our fear and insecurity and handing over our power, we've begun a journey to something so much deeper. I like journeys. Traveling is a bit of a passion of mine. It makes me so relatable. Now, where are we off to? Well, if we're lucky, it's a journey to love. She hates us. Does she? She hesitated before stabbing us to death. There might just be a kernel of affection in that angry, angry heart. As ridiculous as this guy is, maybe he has a point. I don't know if I necessarily buy into his whole love journey thing, but... Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this time. We've already proven to her that we can change. So maybe she'll realise that things don't have to end in violence. You know, maybe you're right. In which case, I suppose the only thing to do is to get back to the cabin and give it another try. Give what another try, exactly? You are aware I've been listening to you, right? It makes no difference if we conspire in the shadows or bear our intentions with open hearts. We are breaking your cruel cycle and whisking her away to freedom. Whisking? Oh, are you now? Great, so you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once. Shut up, Twice. narrator. Sure. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <sighs> then I'll spare you the little introduction I had planned. You already know about the princess, and clearly you already know that she's dangerous. So don't muck this up. It's bad enough that this isn't your first time through. This place is different. It keeps changing. We're going to free her. We're, e we're even now. I'm sure she understands that. Can I mess this up now, Chad, or no? We're even now. We're even. Yes. Good. Playing both sides. That's what smart people do, and you're the smartest in the room. I'm not sure it counts as playing both sides if people can hear you doing it. Buddy, you're thinking in far too few dimensions. There's layers to doing this right, and I'm pretty sure the one making the choices gets that. Trust in the plan. Trust in what plan? The decider's plan. Sure, we don't know what the plan is yet, but that's part of the whole trusting thing, isn't it? The good leader knows how and when to keep things secret. And sometimes a good leader even knows to keep things secret from himself. Well, all the time. There isn't a plan, and that's the whole point. We're supposed to be guided by emotion. We're supposed to passionately live in the moment, and I'm sure that when the time comes, those passions will tell us to set our darling princess free. If I were you, I'd remember what she's done. You know how dangerous she is. You should know that someone like her shouldn't be let loose upon the world. You sure seem to be taking the whole looping thing in stride. What do you want me to say? It's bad that you've been here before. It's bad for you, it's bad for me, and it's especially bad for the world. The more times you run through this, the more likely it is that you'll fail. You've already failed twice. So you knew this could happen? Theoretically, sure, I knew this could happen, but I was supposed to be the first. I'd really rather not get into it. I don't care about where we came from, and I don't care to discuss the theory of anything. I yearn only to bring her freedom. I'm here to feel, not to think. <laughs> then we can all move on, and forget what I said about failure. It's important that you believe in yourself, and the fact you're here probably means that you still have a chance to pull this off and save the world. My world, at least. It sounds like you've probably doomed a couple of others already. Mm, have we, though? You know what? Let's move on and see what she looks I like. Come on. Talking. Let's go! Think happy thoughts. Princess! 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 It isn't long before you find yourself at the base of the cabin. I think it's clear where everyone stands at this point. Oh, fuck. I don't know if I'd say every is she turned into a plant girl? You talking about me? I have a position. It's a good one, too. Ignore him, he's just talking for talking's sake. My position is the only one that matters. You know what you have to do. 
proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is hardly an interior at all anymore. The burned out ruins merely suggest the shape of the structure that once stood here, charred wood still reeking of ash. But beneath it lies the fresh smell of spring growth after rain, the promise of new life in the wreckage of the old. The only furniture of note is the crisp shell of what was once a table, a pristine... Wait, this isn't right? This is supposed to be a pristine blade? Why isn't there a pristine blade? We... we gave it to her last time. She can't still have it, can she? Well, it's not here. And if she has it... Let me guess, you want to get all chummy with her. Or yeah, bud. Look, as far as I see it, if it's between him and her, I say we side with the one who has the weapon. <laughs> it's just the smart thing to do. I wouldn't be so hasty. I'm sure the blade will turn up somewhere. She can't have it. That's not how this is supposed to work. If she does have it, that's all the more reason to put our faith in her. We have already shown her our heart. Now she has to show us hers. Unless her heart tells her to stab us, which doesn't seem unlikely. So yes, I agree. Let's make sure we get on her good side. How do we even get down there? The only thing I see is that mirror. Yeah. Why didn't you mention the mirror? I didn't mention a mirror because there isn't a mirror. But he says there isn't one. That's got to count for something. Right? Why can't he see the mirror? Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a bunch of th things here that that uh, I don't understand. Um, or maybe you're you're not meant to understand them. Maybe they're just there. He just can't see the mirror. To add to the mystery of the mirror, maybe. Hmm. Either way, I say we take a look. It feels like it's been forever since we've actually seen ourselves. For all we know, our feathers are all out of place. And that's why we haven't yet won her heart. We must put our best face forward. How'd you like the game so far? Well, we, we beat it. Uh, we didn't see all the roots, though. Uh, I quite like it. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah, we can't go around looking disheveled. A real go-getter takes care of his appearance. So, is the door to the basement behind the mirror? I promise you there isn't a mirror, and there isn't a door to the basement. The entrance is more of a burned-out frame than anything else, and it's right there on the far side of the room. Do you really not see it? Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the scorched entryway leading to the basement, hesitating before you begin the descent. You know what you have to do. Wipe away the grit from the mirror, and behold our handsome features. You reach forward and wave your hand through the hollow entrance leading to the basement. <laughs> you really thought there was a mirror there, didn't you? That can't be good. As if things weren't unpredictable enough. Finally, some belief. Alas, our fine features remain unseen. We'll just have to trust that she'll find us beautiful as we are. Well, seems like the only way to go is forward, isn't it? Yes, that's where everything tends to be. Let's just put on a good face and have our wits about us. You step through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness below. Get ready, chat. The stairs to the basement are covered in a fine layer of gritty ash. The air still feels warm, as if the fires that ruined this place had only recently been extinguished. Yet fresh shoots of thorny branches are already weaving themselves through the soot-covered earth of the walls around you. It's looking good for wood. Their spines point courteously down towards the basement, so you're able to brush past their jagged points with ease. At least on the way down. But you don't need to think about the way back up just yet. That's a matter for after the world's been saved. These thorns are an expression of her pain. I know it. She's calling out for help. Her voice, worn down by pain and suspicion, hobbles up the stairs. I can't get away from you, can I? You betray me, I kill you, and you come back. You let me kill you, and you come back. I don't know why you let me do that. I don't know what you want from me. I want to figure out a way a way out of here for good. I don't know what I want. I never really chose to come here. I want to free you. I mean it. I really just want to talk. Really talk. Proceed down the stairs. Uh, I never really chose to come I here. I think you know how this goes. I'm down here and I can't leave. So, come down and talk. It's not like I can stop you. Proceed down the stairs. 
You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of thorns that grow more and more plentiful as you make your way forward. You step out into what was once a vast open cavern, now overrun by briars and prickles and thistles. That doesn't look- Space thick with hostile vegetation. That doesn't look fun at all. Oh god. At the heart of it all, encased in a tight weave of vines, is the princess. Her bloody, trembling hands clutching a pristine blade. Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? Yeah, I'm here to laugh. What did you think would happen after you killed me? Did you think I wouldn't hold it against you? I'm not here to laugh. I'm here to free you if you'll let me. I can cut you free, but you'll have to give me the blade. Reach for the blade. You're in a prison of your own making. I broke our cycle of, of violence. If you still want to wallow in it, be my guest. Turn and leave. I guess I don't have anything left to say to you. Turn and leave. Fine. If you're going to be like that, I'm going to leave. Have a nice life. <laughs> Turn and leave. All right. Um, I'm not here to laugh. I'm here to free you if you'll let me. I... I want to trust you. Her grip tightens on the blade. But you're hiding something, aren't you? Why would you help me if you weren't helping yourself? You're not the only one who yearns for freedom. I'm as trapped as you are. I think we need to leave together. Is there nothing I can say? To That's probably it, right? Yeah, for sure, the first one. For no reason, let's quick save. For no reason. The princess clutches the blade closer to her chest. That sounds nice. I'm so tired of the bad blood between us. But it's hard to let it go. You've hurt me. J just once? Her eyes you dart did away it from twice yours back. for a brief moment. And I've also hurt you. There we go. Is there nothing I can say to change your mind? Can, can I take the blade now? Reach for the blade. You're in a prison of your own making. I broke our cycle of violence. Um, alright. I think the first one. Is there nothing I can say to change your mind? Can I take the blade now? Probably one of those two. I... I don't know. What can either of us really say at this point? How can we trust something as hollow as words? She's right. There's nothing left to say. So let's get a move on and do something before she comes up with a scheme to get out of here on her own. We don't need words to send a message. It is through action that we can show her our adoration, our devotion, our kindness. Then maybe it's time for either of us to say anything. All that counts, all that counts is action. Reach for the blade. Hmm, hmm. All right, so we have to reach for the blade. Let's do that one. You reach towards her bloodied hands, laying your palm on her trembling fingers. For a moment, she clutches it even tighter, her knuckles going white with the effort. But then the tension fades. Her grip finally loosens and she allows you to take the weapon. You carefully pull it free from the thorns, though they scrape at your skin, leaving red trickles of fresh blood all along your arms. She trusts us. She trusts us. Doesn't that set your heart a flutter? Yeah, a little. It could just be nerves. Being this close to her does bring back unpleasant memories, but I don't know. It doesn't feel bad. It feels good. Like we're special to her. We are special to have gained an ounce of trust from a maiden so guarded. Now all that remains is to free her from her bindings. Yeah, let's do it. Let's show her how much both of us have changed. Or, hear me out, we slay her. Right here, right now. She's never been so helpless, and if we don't take advantage of that, we may never get another chance. That sounds like a splendid idea. You should listen to him. I see that the lines have been drawn. It's two against one. It's two against two. You don't count. Uh, and why shouldn't he count? Because he's clearly not one of us. That doesn't matter. He's been with us the whole time. He should get a say. So, did you mean it? Or was I a fool to hand my life to you? I 
I just wanted my blade back. You're on your own. Nah, cut yes. her free. What a good idea. Let's cut her free. Oh, so you're suddenly team free her. You can't just switch sides as soon as we make a decision. I can do whatever I want, and I believe with my whole heart that this is the right course of action. Let's free this princess. Yeah, let's get cracking. Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. Let him join us and be merry. We are all united by our passion. That's right. What he said. We've already given him a chance at redemption. And who says I don't deserve another? I really mean it this time. I'm big enough to admit when I'm wrong. So I want to help you all free her. And I have no problem with that. Welcome to the team. You're one of us now. One of the good guys. Take the blade to the thorny vines imprisoning the princess and she flinches, relaxing only slightly as the blade slices into the thick vegetation rather than her arm. And she flinches again as the last of the vines is cut away, as if, after all of that, she's still expecting you to turn on her and stab her in the heart. I do it. I do it. You're not going to do that, are you? Still, all it would take is a single slip of the blade. Such a pathetic attempt at distraction and subterfuge. Our blade is a dashing sword, and every dashing sword is an extension of its hero. It won't slip. You're right. He can't even make it slip, can he? He's a bit of a nobody. Good thing I've been on your side of all this since the beginning. I the mean, princess he falls made us attack her earlier. Arms, tears streaking down her cheeks. I can't believe you're making me describe this. I... <laughs> <laughs> Can we get the, the thorny vines off of her? This looks painful. You actually meant it. You rescued me. Do you see the way she's looking at us? Kiss her. Kiss her now before the moment ends. Uh, uh, okay. Can we actually do that? No, you can't. Absolutely not. I'm doing it. You know as well as I do that we can. And we wouldn't want to throw away a chance for a special moment now, would we? If I were only capable of throwing myself off a bridge. Well, are you going to describe our steamy, romantic kiss? You lean in and you kiss her. And... And she reciprocates enthusiastically. You kiss. It's done. Are you happy now? Come on now. This is the big moment. You can do better than that. Ugh. Fine. <laughs> you and the princess lock eyes and stare deep into each other's souls with all the roaring emotion that comes from letting what once was hatred turn into pure unbridled passion. Are you making fun of us? And then each of you close your eyes and kiss Words can describe neither the nuclear fire nor the oceanic depth of your connection. Please. I think he actually likes romance. If history itself were not about to end, historians would document this moment for the rest of time. Musicians would write era-defining ballads and great artists would expend entire lifetimes trying to merely capture the spark you hold right now. He's making fun of us. Did you get the kiss the princess while she's covered in thorn vines ending? The kiss the princess while she's covered in thorn vine endings is fucking my favorite. It doesn't matter up. either way because this is good stuff. <sighs> I'm aware of my skills. Six and a half hours. Oh my god. But unfortunately for you, the moment doesn't last forever. You open your eyes. The princess smiles gently up at you. Time for you to damn the whole world to oblivion, I suppose. I'll let it burn. <sighs> That was nice. Her hand slips into yours, and the two of you rush to the basement stairs. Shameful, really, that the same thorns that so graciously allowed you downstairs are now blocking your only way out. What? And then she pulls us down the stairs and we break our backs together again. Please. After all the trials we've been through, do you really think a few measly thorns can stop us? Love is an even more powerful weapon than our blade. We cut through those other vines just fine. They're only thorns. I'm not afraid of getting a few scrapes. I'm not even sure we need to do any cutting. We can just move them out of the way. What a pathetic showing, really. A few pointy sticks can't keep us down here. We're both meant for so much more than this. 
Cut into the thorns, step into the thorns. Alright, let's step into the thorns and they're just gonna part for no reason. Let's quick save. As you yeah. step into the thorns covering the basement stairs, they yield. Both you and the princess ascend the stairs without obstacle. This is unacceptable. The second you step out of this cabin with her, the world ends. Do you hear me? What did the world ever do to you to deserve this? Your nightmare is our dream. Whatever world would condemn star-crossed lovers like us to a cycle of violence and despair isn't a world worth saving. We'll weave something new together. Something better. You and the princess hesitate at the cabin door. This is your last chance. We've already made our decision. We're finally leaving here together, aren't we? And all we had to do was trust each other. It wasn't easy, but... I'm glad we finally could. For some reason I don't trust it. Hands clasped, the two of you open the door and step out into a new day, you irredeemable murderers. What do we do now? Whatever we want. Where's everything going? Why is it so cold? You don't have an opportunity to respond. Something has taken her away. I saw something in her She's place. Gone. Where did she go? All right. So that's the thorn she ending. I don't think we need to go her? through with the other one, right? Oh, do we want to see what the what no. the the um oh, the mound version looks like? I think that's what it is. The narrator is gone. Just Something that well we're did. top of the packing order now. Right, boys? A villain vanquished. I'm begging you, don't do this. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. They think it's bad. I'm with them. This, approach the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll what? see. What? What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. You said this already. They think it's bad. Voices feel small distance as you, as you approach. This is the first ending that we've seen, right? Because this was a new game. Proceed to the cabin. Yeah, there we are. What does she look like? I want to see what she looked like here. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Okay. So I think that's it. Uh, we I don't know if we want to read reviews for this one. I skimmed through it, and I don't know if there's going to be um, much there. It's interesting. I don't know. We tried destroying. Yeah, we tried attacking her. You can't do it. It, it won't. It won't let you do it. Uh, thank you to Archon Zach for the resub. Zach, do you hear that? Thank you very much for the resub, Archon Zach. Um, so that's it. Uh, yeah, I like this. I like this. I don't know if I fully understand it. Uh, I find myself saying that a lot when it comes to the more, uh, I want to say abstract again, um, experiences that we play on stream. Um, I think that how I, how I interpreting this, not everything fits, but maybe not everything is ever going to fit. Maybe not. Hmm. How'd you like the writing generally? I, I liked it well enough, yeah. Uh, I do think that it's not using the medium as well as it could. However, that's pretty rare. Uh, I, I feel like there is a bit too much repetition when it comes to getting into the different cycles and holding skip to skip through it all is not the best answer. However, I do understand that it would be a 
uh, logistical nightmare in order to have all the different options be in any different any order and it somehow changes what you're going to see based on what you've already done um, and skipping is is the the cleanest and easiest way to do it and um, it, it wouldn't be that big of a gain to put so much work to clean it up but at the same time it, it does bring the experience down a little bit the um, the repetition at the beginning Uh, was I actually... Oh, I don't want to ask that, because uh, if I ask that, then someone who played the game might be spoiled for it. Um, I'll, um... Well, we're at the end. If you if you don't want to hear this... Okay, let me... I'll ask on Jads. I'll ask on Jads. Anyway, so before I go, uh, just a reminder again that we are doing the event at the end of the end of the year. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes, Alt F4. Let me see if I can bring uh, bring the page back up again. I can't. I closed it. Never mind. Uh, so I will. Someone will type in the command. Uh, if you want to, it's right there already. So there's the forms there. If you want to nominate something for the, let me bring it up. What am I doing? Let me bring it up. What is Jads? That's your question. What is Jads? What is Jads? What is chance? Window capture. It's that one, right? Hopefully it's that one. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, if you didn't miss it at the beginning of the stream, uh, we are doing a end of the year event. Uh, if you want to go to this page right now, you can see the link in chat, and you can also join Discord, and you can see it there. So there'll be people will be talking about it, um, and you can. Uh, go through and you can read the categories and you can nominate um, whatever you want for these awards. Uh, so on the 27th, we're going to be back. We're going to be streaming Valhalla, but we're also going to be starting the voting on that day. Uh, and you can vote for the nominees that get determined from this list that we're doing right now. So it's a three stage event. Stage one is right now where we're in the nomination phase. Stage two is when we're in the voting phase to vote what, what wins of the nominee uh, of the nominees. Um, and remember just because, uh, it's a very prestigious award show guys. So even if you think that something is, oh, there's no way anything is not going to beat out that, you know, just getting nominated is quite the honor. Okay. Just, just getting something on the nomination board. In, in that top five, six, or whatever the number is going to be, it, it's a huge honor just to get nominated, okay? Um, so, yeah, and so that'll be the voting in, in the November 27th. And then at the end of the year on the 29th, we are going to be doing the show itself. And uh, we will go through and announce all of the winners. Um, there's going to be some some giveaways, you know, there'll be riff, some riffing with chat. Um, try and make it a fun time. How will you protect against another Bill Clinton moment? <laughs> anyway, so uh, I think that's it for me. I don't think there's anything else that I need to do. Uh, no stream for the 27th? No, the next stream is on November 27th. I have uh, a lot of uh, witchering to do. So that's that. Um, you will hear from me a bit before then, though, just not on stream. And I will see you then. Uh, there's nothing else for me to do, right? Uh, anything you used to do? Uh, I enjoyed Slay the Princess. It was pretty good. You can catch me around on, on Discord. Um, I'll be there there now and then. But I'm not going to be talking much on there because I have, I have too much to do. Um, you forgot to say your real name. Do you want me to say my real name right now? Do you want me to end, end uh, this with the bit where I cut it off right before I say my real name? Uh, anyway, so I'll see you on the 27th. Have a good rest of your month, chat. Do, 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 do. Jelly, hold on. Jelly, stop, right? Jelly, stop. Yeah, Jelly rated us. Okay, so we're going to rate Jelly at the end. Okay, never mind. See you later.